need to live. I'm gonna gargle your piss! Keys to my truck. Hit the show cause I'm faded. Honey's in the street. Say, honey, now we made it. It feels so good in my hood tonight. The summertime skirts and the guys that can die. All the gangbangers forgot about the drive by. You gotta get your groove on before you go get paid. So tip up your cup and throw your hands up and let me hear the party say. Oh, I'm tired of buzz and it's all because. How I screw it South Central yeah. Thursday like nobody does This is how we screw it And to all my neighbors You got much flavor This is how we do it Let's flip the track from the old school What's up, Chad? This is how we do it This is how we do it All hands are in the air And wave are from me to there If you win OG Mac or a wannabe player I see the good's been good to me Ever since I was a lowercase G But now I'm a big G The girls see I got the money Hundred dollar bills, y'all Wherever you were from Where I'm from And you would know That I gotta get mine In a big black truck You can get yours in a 6-4 Whatever it is The party's underway So tip up your cup And throw your hands up And let me hear the party say Oh, I'm kind of buzz And it's all because This is how we do it What's up, guys? We got Kanye West freaking out on Alex Jones' show. It was insane. We got Elon Musk dropping the Hunter Biden shit on on Twitter. It's nuts. Yo. And we got Indiana Jones 5, the trailer. What the hell? Lots to talk about tonight. Anybody who watched SmackDown or AEW, feel free to chime in as well if you want. And all they said was 580 stood. And people thought the music that he made was good. He met a singer and Sam was his name. He came up to say, so this is what he said. I'm going to gargle your piss. You just made the list. Sell a million records and we're making the dash. Oh, I'm buzzing because this is how people do And you know what? Kanye's my shit. Like nobody does. For your wife, Tony. Ah, uh, she fucking the breadwinner. Ah, you loser. Hi, bitch. For some people too. And you know what? Kanye's my spirit uh, animal. I'm coming for your wife, Tony. Ah, uh, she fucking the breadwinner. Ah, you loser. Ah, you're gonna get killed by jail people. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh yeah. <laughs> 
That's that's funny. Funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's that's funny. That's that's. Oh yeah, I can't wait to do some people too. And you know what? Kanye's my spirit uh, animal. I'm coming for your wife, Tony. Ah, she fucking the breadwinner. Ah, you loser. Ah, you're gonna get killed by jail people. Ah. <laughs> oh damn. Oh damn. Oh yeah. That's that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. There's some people too. And you know what? Kanye's my spirit uh, animal. I'm coming for your wife, Tony. Ah, she fucking the breadwinner. Ah, you loser. Ah, you're gonna get killed by jail people. Ah! <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. That's, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Courtesy of the devious Dave Rose. It was, uh, Little little dig at someone who's a retard there, and uh, funny comment from Extreme Shaft. I gotta play it again. That's that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't know Extreme Shaft was Lurch. By the way, <laughs> fucking that's funny. Fucking. Anyway, I love. I'm sorry. I don't. I love Extreme. Friday. Friday, baby. What's up, Dave? You want a dick? Mm, I prefer a pussy. But, you got uh, much flavor, you. brother? <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to pass. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to pass. You know what you're not going to pass on? A raid with my wife. <laughs> but no, um, <laughs> sorry. I no, I'd, I'd, I'd run in there like Leroy Jenkins and fuck it all up. That's true. That's what they do, man. I mean, I, that's, you know, <laughs> if I'm dead, you know what? I'm, I'm. Well, I'm not even gonna say it. I was gonna say something really. <laughs> I was gonna I mean, I gotta be honest. Like the old me would have said what I wanted to say, but I'm not gonna say it. If you want me to tie up loose ends, just send that to me in private uh, message, and no, I can make sure that uh, it was. You know. It's bad. Let me. I gotta. Oh, I gotta tell. I gotta say it. Hold on. Let me mute the stream. What do you think of that, Dave? Um, I think he might want to try to keep both options open. Oh, that's a good idea. I did blank it out. That was really bad. I was just kidding. And, uh, but I don't think it would have gone over well. No comment. So. No comment? Okay. Nikki J, the weed got in the house. I'm going to get you in trouble because, well, you know, I could certainly talk about it. Yep. There's some people, too. And you know what? Kanye's my spirit uh, animal. Tony I'm coming for your wife, I'm Tony. Ah, she fucking the breadwinner. Ah, you loser. Ah, you're going to get killed by jail people. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, well, that's what happens that's, when you fuck around. Funny. You find out. Oh, yeah. Now, I didn't even know what... I just... I, I, I don't even know what happened, but someone told me, and I was like, wow, Jesus Christ, bro. That's a dangerous I'm thing. Still, I'm still... Um, you know, sort of em not empty, but like um, I have missing aspects to information okay. about that. But uh, the same conclusion that you came to is the I, same one that I did. Yeah, and it's just it, like, it, yeah, well, you really shouldn't be fucking with people that, uh, you know, are former felons and have yeah. gone to jail for violent crimes. Nobody, but hey, I, what the fuck do I know? And no one knows what we're talking about. But the bottom line is like and I don't either. Really, what happened is I to I, I saw a video like a while back and I was like, what is he what is he doing? What is this? And then, like, a few uh, days ago, somebody gave me a 10-minute rundown of, of, like, what had been happening. And I'm like, oh. And I'm like, well, that's what happened. This guy, you know, someone's going to kill this guy, you know. It's <laughs> like, bro, can you imagine you go on YouTube and, you know, not to get into it much, but, like, just to vaguely say, like, can you imagine, like, pretending you're, like, a small-time YouTuber. And you just try to do anything desperate for attention out there. And you decide, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to attack a community of felons. Who are gang members and murderers and you raised a piece tattoos of shit. on their faces? Yeah, tattoos on their faces. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my wife, or no, my don't have a wife, but I'm gonna put my girlfriend, family in danger. That's what I'd like to do. I think that's a good idea. You know, it's not like bullfrog being an idiot, even. You know, it's like literally going after people. And then here's the thing, I, not that I agree with what you do or that everything that you've done, Dave, because I don't agree with it, but. That's, you know, I've always been honest about that, and so have you. And I mean, people need to recognize that nobody's endorsing what I've done. Well, there are a few people, maybe, but uh, 
you know, when people say they don't agree with what I did, that is them saying it publicly, and they've said the exact same to me, uh, same thing to me privately. Yeah, and, and and here's the thing about that. When but when you know that there's a guy, you have such an enemy like you or like whatever. Like when if I had an enemy like that who is doing what you have done, you know what I mean? And you know, I think he's just as bad. So in that sense of things, when you have an enemy like that. So you're going to go show your enemy that you're up that you're in a like you're basically pissing off these crazy fucking not steroidal but these uh alpha male fucking criminals and you're pissing them off and they're thinking about ways that they can get to you or get at you and they're threatening you but they know they really don't know where you what you know how to get to you but then you have somebody like you Dave Rose who will is watching and then we'll tell those people potentially like exactly how to find the person. Like, I mean, that is just the dumbest fucking thing. Like, I can't even imagine that for like you wouldn't think don't fuck with them because the enemy of my enemy. You know what I mean? Yep. The, like, hello. Yep. Like, and I'm not saying I don't agree with. I would never share with those people information because I'm afraid of what they actually would do. The inevitability is just like if you go, if you push something to a limit, don't don't be surprised if somebody pushes back. I mean, you you wow. clearly recognize that. And you're you know, you're looking at other people saying, how are people so fucking dumb and not realizing that? And I've, I've thought the same. Can you please now quickly shifting to something that everyone will know what we're talking about because nobody knows what we're talking about right now. Shift to who you told me that Kanye or ye West looks like here on Alex Jones. Um, I, I said two. Did, the, was the, it it's the second the, one? It's the, it's the GI Joe one. That's got me. Okay. So, uh, yeah, basically, <laughs> basically <laughs> Kanye looks like fucking Cobra commander. here, <laughs> Dude, look at this. If Cobra commander was like wearing LL cool J's jacket, like, I don't know, bro. This is... Oh, my God. No, you have until midnight to surrender. <laughs> now, Kanye West went on uh, Alex Jones, and, and, and he really freaked out Alex Jones. Like, Alex Jones legit didn't know where to go with the things he was saying. Well, I got to start off. Like, uh, excuse me, excuse me. You know, uh, I'll let you talk. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm pulling Kanye here. You yep. Know? Um, but Beyonce... No, but seriously... Um, I've never seen anybody hold Alex Jones at bay better than I have with Kanye West because you know how <laughs> Alex Jones will talk over everybody. I'm a Nazi. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was so many times where Kanye West and, and like this ep th this interview was supposed to be like an hour long. It ended up going like three and a half. Right. And the guy had to take off and stuff, but he kept wanting to stay. The thing is, though, there were so many times. I love this, though, because I do find it frankly annoying when alex jones has to speak over somebody else and start to like you know redirect the conversation yeah Kanye, sorry tim, yay, tim pool yay. does it too from what my, I, my I bad yay did you listen to tim pool i'm doing it to you now but did you hear tim pool he talked all over kanye too yeah, both no he also he also took that out of fucking context too that shit is fucking pathetic tim pool you balding fuck you mm. deserve to fucking i don't know uh suffer a ingrown toenail I'm trying to be nice here. I don't want to get your Well, chance. I got to be but, honest. Um, I'm not going to bottom, agree. I won't agree with anything really Kanye said. I appreciate that his mind is open and, and kind of insane and he's going crazy right now. But I mean, I'm not going to agree with, you know. I'm about to make a point. Go ahead. God. I forgot it, though. It was something about Kanye and. Well, you were talking about K fucking Tim Pool, cocksucker, and he interrupted him. Well, right him. before that. Oh. <sighs> See, I did it to you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> but yep. uh, I did it to Leah the other night too. I got a problem. Eh, I should uh, have uh, stronger mental fortitude. Uh, Maybe. I, mea culpa. I do. I, you uh, know, I gotta watch myself, and I get hopped up. Here's the other thing that's going. On. I've been doing it a lot more recently, and Leah was like, "What the fuck?" The other night, and I was like, "Well, you know what?" Oh no, no. Okay, I remember. I remember. Yeah. So, and I'm gonna do it to you now. Yeah. Because I'm doing exactly what fucking Kanye. Exactly the point I'm trying to make is that Kanye would not let fucking Alex Jones interrupt him. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it because <laughs> of the fact that I've seen so many times that 
that Alex Jones just start fucking, uh, you know, pulls a Dave Rose. He runs roughshod on people, talks over them, blah, blah, blah. No, Kanye would not allow it. And he's like, no, 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 don't interrupt me. Let me talk. And he fucking, and Alex Jones at that point was like, I've, I've lost control of this whole thing. And uh, it was great. It was great to finally hear Alex Jones shut the fuck up and let his guest speak. Well, his guest spoke all right. He said a bunch of <laughs> crazy <Did> he ever <laughs> anti-Semitic things. Honestly, in my opinion, he's, I believe, and I could be wrong, but I kind of think he's just mentally ill. I don't think he's actually this like brilliant anti-Semitic person. I just think he's a, a fucking wacko, and he... That, you know, it, tomorrow, if there was something else, he'd be on something other cr else that's crazy. It has no, I don't he even is, think it's real. Is, look, this is what people need to understand, I believe, when it comes to Kanye West, is that obviously he is confused on many different things. He's already stated that he doesn't read books, and then he, he always sort of backtracks what he says. Right. Uh, he basically said that, you know, initially he said he doesn't read any books, uh, and then he said he doesn't, you know, he corrected, I don't read books to the, to the end, I skip around, blah, blah, blah. But the bottom line is that he is obviously ignorant on a few things, so he'll go on what he is uh, told. Like, for example, one of the last images, not the last image, but one of the last images that caused him to be suspended was um, the original symbol of a cult that exists in Canada founded by a man that was born in France. It's called the Raelians. So Raelianism. You can look it up, Joe. And uh, if you look up their original symbol, it's a Star of David or... Uh, a seal of Solomon, depending on how you want to define it. But inside, it has a swastika. Again, the sun symbol, something that's been used by countless civilizations throughout the world for thousands of years. So they chose, they chose that symbol. Now, the truth is that because Kanye is ignorant, he, I don't know if you want to even show this image on your thing. Probably not. You know, yeah, probably not. Um, but um, he just decided, oh, I found an image that shows a swastika with the, you know, Star of David. Uh, and therefore, you know, this is appropriate to show. And that's one of the things that basically had him suspended. Right. Right. Yeah, see, again, I think it's more. And I, I heard oh my God, Troy's in the chat. Wow, that's weird. I think that he's just mentally ill. And he, I, by the way, I've been saying this for years. And here's the thing that you know what pisses me off. And Leah shits on me because Leah was shitting on me last night. She was like, "Yeah, just because you want to be right or whatever." I'm like, "Oh no, no, listen. I've said because I I have a couple of friends who love just Kanye. Because you want to be right, seriously. I don't know what she was saying. Such but, a typical female response. Oh, you want to be right? It's like, no, lady, you're the one who's emotional. Well, I I've just said for years. Listen, the guy has always been kind of out there and rude, and and he's always been like this. He's got a wild mind, and it it, it produces a lot of great creativity. But but he, but he also can't take him too seriously because he's a constantly creative person and constantly Van Gogh was one of the most brilliant uh artists ever and he cut his fucking ear off for his girl so uh yeah uh insanity very much often is associated well, with absolute genius it's also associated more with to be honest leftist type of people leftist people are more usually creative and artistic and they have this sort of like Anything for the art, whether it's self-destruction or triumph, they'll do either one. More conservative people typically go the other way. Wagner with... was not a fucking liberal. Who? Wagner. Right. I, no, I, no, I understand. Who, despite the fact that uh, he certainly didn't show because he came prior to the Nazis, well, because uh, Hitler liked him, therefore he's now a Nazi. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fucking pathetic. It's like, you know, okay, it's sad about Michael Jackson. I do believe that he did diddle kids, but I mean, the guy's also a fucking genius when it comes to music. It's a hard decision to decide what do you do with that sort of situation. Here's some clips from uh, Kanye West the other night on uh, Alex Jones uh, show. Ari Emanuel, isn't that what it's By the said? way, Alex Jones is loving this. He's getting the most press for his channel ever, like yes. in a long time. Yeah. He declared bankruptcy earlier today, apparently. Oh, really? But uh, yeah, the, the thing is, though, this went nuts. It, it, like when, when Kanye decided to show up, this guy had a captivated audience of over 100 million watching. 
Oh my god. This was one of the best things that could ever happen to fucking InfoWars. Which also makes you question is there yeah. something happening? Yeah, I, uh, what, here's the thing, Kanye. I'll give you ten thousand dollars to come on the show and just basically say you're a Nazi, and I'll act cr- like well, I'm terribly surprised. It'll be, you know, I uh, know. But here, here's a little bit of it. Don't even have to do that. They're on. benefiting from each other just being no, on each right. other's channel. That's so. true. Nope. This has helped Kanye. I mean, it, in a way, it's hurt Kanye, but it's also helped them in a way. But it's hurt. It's helped Alex Jones for sure. You, you know the amount of support that I've seen come out for Kanye, specifically from black supremacists and stuff. Really, I love it. People I love, love this it. guy. I mean, after oh, like what he said, absolutely. Wow. There's there's black people coming out. They're like, this man is fucking well, right because they hate and the Jews. I the see- blacks hate Jews. Is what you're saying? No, no, no. Just straight up fucking black Christians. No. Okay. All right. That's yeah. crazy. I you know I don't think that he. Here's the thing. My thing is that I feel I feel I'm worried. I'm more worried because I, I see I don't take him as like oh my god he's this threat that he's like Hitler. I don't think that. I think he's mentally ill. I I, I almost Same situation as we've seen in the past though. But why is why are people like Britney overlooking Spears. what happened last time before he was submitted to the hospital? Very similar situations where he right. went on a tear and he said things that certainly did push a lot of people's buttons. And then they fucking MK Ultra'd him. So, don't you think like this is a Britney Spears situation? And my and Leo was saying the other day exactly when- that's another example that I pointed out is that she gets put into the audience in, into that into the fucking hospital mental hospital comes out fucking bl- like new bleached blonde hair fucking total like uh, mm-hmm. MK Ultra fucking victim and then breaks out of that uh, programming and shaves her head. Right, and now Kanye, but see, they locked the women away for longer, but Kanye went away and disappeared, then came back this way. Britney Spears went away this way and then came back the way she was. Uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, we talked about that yes. earlier. I mean, it's off- Milo. Like, what is going on with people disappearing for a while, coming back with blonde hair, and apparently being MK altered? And after suffering a supposed mental issue, it's always the same pattern. They suffer a mental issue. They're submitted to the hospital. They come out, blonde hair. Oh, I'm back on the wagon of supporting Petalwood and all that sort of shit. It's, it, but these people were just speaking out about it prior to going into the hospital. Yeah, I, I, there's something going on here. We'd have to think about it to put these things together a little bit yeah. better. But the bottom line is, you know, I, I, am, I look at Kanye as a, I'm almost like a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but I'm looking at him almost like a compassionate doctor, like, I am concerned about him mentally, like seriously. But you, you know, know what? The problem is that he brought up some good stuff. Is that uh, some of the deals? Like he was talking about the deals that he made with, uh, um, like he had deals with his wife uh, for you know stake in her company and stuff. And then you had uh, Kushner's uh, Jared Kushner's brother involved taking more profit than he was. And um, he brought up that uh, that fact on the interview is that Jared Kushner has always been and he actually said this straight out, which probably pissed a lot of people off, is that Trump has a lot of handlers around him, a lot of yes men, a lot of. And we know this. We know this since, you know, he got elected is he surrounded himself with people that are low powerful, certainly didn't have his or America's best interest in mind. So he called this fucking shit out. That's not, there's nothing wrong with that. Jared Kushner is a fucking traitor to America, supports Israel over everything else, and would rather fucking see suffering in America than fucking support it. And he's married. I always thought this was a problem. He should never have been in the White House. And and I was critical about this from the Mm get-go. Him and fucking Ivanka should never have been allowed in the White House. At least fucking Donald Jr. and uh, the other one. Um... The one who's got really weird eyes. Um, oh. The, the two brothers. Yeah. Uh, the, the Trump brothers. Uh, yep. They said, you know what? Uh, we got to get out of this. It'd be a conflict of interest for us to be involved, and we don't want our father to suffer. But the daughter married to the guy that was so supportive of Israel but yet wanted to, uh, you know, destroy America. Um, you know, he was allowed in the White House, and he was allowed to d- dictate all these deals and such. That guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, and these are all people. And his that daughter, snuck you know in. what? Fuck his daughter. His daughter's actually uh, Ivanka. She's in some sort of uh, deal with uh, Hillary Clinton's daughter. What's her name? What? Chelsea. Chelsea. 
Yeah, and they work on some. They work on several projects actually that they're well, you know involved with selling babies in Uganda. Yeah, they're hugging and. Yeah, they're but selling babies in hugging. Uganda. All right, let's just be let's just be honest about what's going on here. Shit bum. There's a shit bum donation. What would Kanye's luchador name be? What would Kanye's luchador name be? From Gerald Armstrong. Um, I mean, it's got to be. Bro. You said it was King Cobra, right? Or you look like King Cobra or somebody like that? No, I I, I think he should he should be called El Negro, which no. means the black. That's right, the black. That'd be a good one. He is the black. The Not black. Not a black, but he is the black. The black, ladies and, and plus, gentlemen. That's a fucking amazing luchador mask. Although I, there were so many times during the interview where you could hardly hear the guy. <laughs> and even Alex Jones is like, he was asking Kanye stuff. And Kanye, I guess through the mask or whatever, could not hear him. So you could hear <laughs> Alex Jones saying like, this guy can't hear me. Let's just continue. Let's uh, play a little bit more of some of this. Let's see this. Your boards says, right now under the wooden floors. It's like a reverse version of the Holocaust. George Soros can come to Christ. It is a possibility that he can convert and come to Christ. You got a little bit of the Hitler fetish going on. It's not a fetish. They call me anti-Semite. They said I'm a nigga in rap. They said I'm black. They told me, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Okay, James He's Brown, you tell me who here. I am. This um, is the future president you're talking to right now. I'm not defending him. I'm saying, isn't it good to try to get Middle East peace? Ask, let's ask Nick. Yeah, Nick, go ahead. I got to watch uh, my accounts because they've been frozen by the Jewish uh, banks. I get the yeah, frozen. I don't, I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. I think we need to look at... <laughs> like I my... love Jewish people, but I also love Nazis. It gets to the... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the Can fuck? Can I say one thing? I yeah. want to say one thing. Yeah. Is that also... Um, and this was I was trying to get uh, to uh, previously. Jesus. Uh, but this is going so many places, even worse than my mind. But um, <laughs> he is trying to embody, like, okay, so we know he's confused about a lot of different things. He's right? trying to love everybody, Christian it like. theology. But the whole idea of Christ, you know, being loving, accepting somebody for their faults and stuff, this is what he's trying to embody. Right. He's not doing a good job of it. He's certainly not verbalizing it properly at all. But I said this what, to he's Leah last what night. he's trying to do is say, you know what? Yes, these people have done evil things, but the only way, and he's talked about this for a while, the only way to, to and you know what? It's unfortunate Jesse's not here because he'd be cheering fucking Kanye on. His point that it, all it, groups of people do really bad things. Yeah, but what he's saying, what he's go back to is like love, 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 love. He's always saying you got to love your enemy. He's basically trying to embody and Jesus, you know, right, rightfully misinterpreting a lot of things. But yes, Jesus, he's trying to embody the teachings mm. of trying to say, OK, you have somebody that I totally disagree with. They want to kill me, but I have the opportunity to try to love them and show them that love can change them. So that is what he's trying to do. But he is just he is messed up. He doesn't understand a lot of things. So as such, it comes out like we've seen and it certainly isn't the best thing for optics i think he's I, I think he's been tapped into and this is mk ultra to, to make the right even crazier because yes, they've been they've been looking for this lightning there. rod you are correct there and i'm no, in, that's I'm, the thing though is that he has been like although he does have faith in in religion and stuff when that is manipulated especially through mental control yeah that is where it becomes dangerous and you're absolutely correct when the fact is that this guy is being MK Ultra, it, there's no doubt about it. He's been under the system before, and all you got to do when somebody is under that system is use key trigger words, which is documented, and you can get them to do whatever the fuck you want, which is why you got to keep an eye on Nick Fuentes and Milo Yiannopoulos. Yeah, there's some weird shit going on, man. There is some very weird shit. Milo Yiannopoulos, Fuentes, and then they went and infiltrated Trump's dinner. And Trump doesn't know who Fuentes is. He's just like, yeah, no, no, bring, that, your, bring that, that your friends changed, in. That changed. Also, Trump, very odd. Trump made three tweets after that. First, oh, I had a uh, a dinner with um, Kanye. Oh, I had a dinner with Kanye and some guy called Nick Fuentes. The next one's like, I know totally about these guys and blah, blah, blah. A lot of very strange things going on. Yeah, there. this is a little weird. The whole thing's weird. It's very. I don't know what it means, though. It's just weird. Yeah, it's like a, what? No, it's a distraction. We have, uh, we have, you know, Ukraine demanding more money. You have uh, all these trades that are being done by Pelosi. This is, you know, it's a distraction. 
it's a total distraction for what's going on. Yeah, well, it's well. There's always some distraction happening, and we don't know. We'll find out what it means coming up. But it takes. Talk a- is I'm full of shit. Oh, oh shit! The ghost from the ghost. It's gay. Let's get gay. I want that gay in my face. I want that gay. Let's get gay. It's a party with the gays. I love gays. I love gays. I want gays. I'm not straight. I want gay. 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 I want that gay up in my face. Let's get so gay. Let's get so gay. And I love gays in my face. Let's go. Let's get go. Sorry. Ooh, yeah. 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 I'm going to have sex with Elon Musk's musket. Yeah. Um, oh, I kind of went in. You know, fuck like Macho Man. I went in a Scotty there. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, apparently um, I'm full of shit, uh, says Todd Fair. But uh, is Joe full of shit? Because he seems to be agreeing with many things I'm saying. You know yeah. who's full of shit? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to do some people, too. And you know what? Kanye's my spirit uh, animal. Tony- I'm coming for your wife, Tony. Ah, she fucking the breadwinner. Ah, you loser. Ah, you're gonna get killed by jail people. Ah. <laughs> Go on down. Go on down. Let's let's see oh, Tony yeah. fucking wrestle a bear That's and funny. fucking do a um, hurricane rana on a fucking what was that your um, oh, yeah. your cellar door? I remember you did the flip and you fucking oh, yeah. smashed it in your cellar door at your <laughs> old house. Yeah, and was completely uninjured. That's that's funny. <laughs> it's hilarious it's shaft absolutely hilarious it is hilarious and he loves drama he's a weird person that's why he's banned um but no uh what's up extreme <laughs> how you doing brother uh 69 dollars coming in from Ooh. ghost from the coast that is the top donation of the stream uh ghost from the coast is replacing gerald armstrong here uh ghost from the coast so hey, you uh, know what yeah regardless regardless of um what look, Kanye did say very, very stupid things. Yeah. Okay. It, it's I, I can pick up concerning things, but I think he's mentally ill. But he also did say things, and that's the problem. That he yeah. said things that were truth, and he said things that were not truth. And they were all mixed together. And the problem is that this now causes which is why we need to consider that this is a distraction. It causes the baby to be thrown out with the bathwater. So, although he mentioned a lot of things about, say, uh, Kir- uh, Kirshner? Kirshner? Yeah, Brett Kirshner. Uh, yeah, he also mentioned people that were associated with Elon Musk. Um, mix it up with the other bullshit that he said. And people say, ah, it's all bullshit. Throw it out. Ignore it all. And, well, this is this is the purpose of a distraction, is that despite that there were some things that he said true, there are some things that were totally false. And when you've got puppet masters around him, his handlers, which is how all celebrities operate, they have handlers. They don't speak for themselves. They're parents. They're told what to say, and they fucking push it. All these people, all these actors pushing for the, the booster and all that – during those, you know, the past two years and Good stuff. Good Lord, you almost just died right there. Oh, it's just a burp. I'm, I'm still oh, Wow, I mean, it sounds um, like you just it was a manly burp, a manly burp. But um, all these people pulling this shit, the uh, fact is that, you know, it, it's all propagated. It's all fucking an act. So, you know, you got somebody like Kanye West, although who wants to speak on his own, he's being manipulated. Um, you can't, you know, sort of be surprised of what we've just seen. No, yeah. I mean, I've heard people talk about me like this delusionally. Uh, one th- It comes to mind the time that Dr. Erlen Bolsey had some kind of conversation about how I was a crazy person who, you know, oh, God, I said Raw made me want to die, and that's the most worst thing ever, and they talked about it for 30 minutes like I was some crazy person. I was like, dude, it's a joke. It's really not that big a deal. Um, uh, really suicidal there. Yes. Yes. You remember. Yeah. I felt like that was just that's the type of delusion that Kanye's, you know, going through right now. It's like you don't even know what you're saying. You know, what I mean, like you're just out of your mind saying crazy. Shit. It's, it's it's mixed with truth and untruth. It's, and that's the so, thing. It was mixed with a little bit of truth in some ways. And that's there's certain things that he's saying that are like, again, he's bringing up that uh, Kirsch, uh, Kirshner, whatever his name is. 
Ivanka's. Uh, well, no one heard story. that part. All they heard was the Nazi thing. Well, that's the problem is that when you've got something like this, where this guy is so unstable, where he's throwing in all these different things, um, it's just going to be categorized all rather than people Nature like me or Judaism. Like you, who are going to pick through everything with a fine tooth comb and be like, okay, that's true. That's false. That's true. That's false. No, they're just going to be like, ah, Kanye's crazy. And therefore we can totally ignore it. And that's the worst thing that people can do because there was a lot of truth in that. And people don't want to see that. But this was the whole purpose of it is to create a distraction and to dismiss the points that he's brought up. I'll get you Joe's. I'll get the GI Joe. <laughs> like, I mean, he really does look like, <laughs> they does look like yeah, that yeah. oh my god dude look at him oh my god bro look he, at him he, like he, he looks like a villain transmitter will be activated at midnight <laughs> that's what he looks like dude he looks like a fucking villain from a fucking like a morning cartoon he actually gives it a sort of um like a, a cobra hood look well, too, yeah so. the other you know thing what is... I, I would follow cobra kanye Cobra Kanye. <laughs> oh my God. And the other thing is, here's the other thing, guys. I'll kill everybody who's yellow. I'll kill everybody oh, who's yellow. Yeah, th these are shocking comments. We're going to play a little bit more of what Kanye said the other day. Here's some more of it, guys. Listen, everybody out there, I'm sorry that Kanye West said this stuff. Please, you know, don't judge. Apologize for him. Don't yeah. on his own I want to. TV. I want to apologize for what he's about to say. But let's go ahead and play the clip anyway. We have to play it. Here you go. Even though that jacket is yeah. Hard. So here's the other thing, man. Like every 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 slanted eyed motherfucker in China, I like to eat their families alive and then put them on the cover of my next album called. Ye chinky. Like, that's what I like to do. I kill anybody. It smells funny like those people. That's what I do. I kill the... Well, I, I gotta say, man, listen, I know a lot of Chinese people who are actually really good people, and the thing is, like, I don't really agree with what you just said. I mean, listen, make the album what you want, but I wouldn't do that to, to human beings. You know, is that's all I'm saying. It, it's yeah, art. well... You can do, you can say that, Alex, but here the, the thing is, these people are like under five foot eight. They should be stomped out and murdered. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I don't agree. But you should agree because here's the thing, man. They skin yellow. Like, you white, I'm black, but they skin yellow. That's weird, man. It's like urine. Uh, but you know, yeah, I know, but this really. I just, I just gotta tell. I, I just don't know how you can say this. I just got to tell you, man, I, I want to cook them like they cook cats and dogs. I want to cook them. They think it's funny cook a dog. I cook them. All right. Uh, it's just like, but Kanye, I mean, we have a lot of Chinese Americans who are wonderful. Yeah, you say that. Yeah, I, mean, I do say that. I think they're wonderful people. And the thing is, like, I know a lot of them. And I, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know a lot of them that cook dogs. So fuck them. <laughs> and they can't drive worth the shit either. Kill them. All right, I'm out of here. I gotta go. I gotta. And <laughs> <laughs> what? Hitler love dogs. Wow. You no, no, should have said at the end, like Hitler love dogs. You wow. don't love dogs, Alex. I love dogs. That's sick. I mean, Kanye's insane. You I know mean, when you make Alex show. That was a fucking, That was great. <laughs> I mean, Alex had to leave the set. Like he was like, I gotta get out of here. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding mean, up onto two conversations and doing two different <laughs> <laughs> dude the cover no, like if if like if, 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 like, if all our TVs were taken control of and you had Kanye West appear on TV like that and declare that he is now going to be like you mm -hmm. know th like the Cobra commander of the world yeah I'd sign up for Cobra in an instant <laughs> oh yeah Oh yeah, that'd be. Listen, you. Well, I wouldn't, but you. You enjoy that, Dave. I'm fucking. I'm not gonna be part of that. I mean, I'm not gonna be part of Mister. I love Hitler. I mean, that's a little, uh, a little bizarre. But you want. But you Jesus, know what, Dave? Yo, I'm like Jesus. I love Hitler. I love everyone. I love fucking the the. He actually said he loved Stalin. He loved Mao. Yeah, he loves like, everyone. Everyone. It look, doesn't matter. I, mm, I, I, I tweeted this out like when I started to listen to this the other day, like I could not stop listening because yeah. they kept saying, OK, well, it's over. It's over. And it kept going. It's just like I can't stop listening. Yeah, this is too much. Stop. this is just like this is just going. This is beyond off the rails. This is now into light years. You know, it, just, yeah. it was just so fascinating.
to see this, what is it, a psychological assessment? It was just incredible. Yeah, it was, uh, I haven't even heard it all, not even close. I've heard like eight minutes. I can't wait. How long is it? I got like an hour three, in. It's, it's, it's a, I think it's about three hours, close to three hours and 30 minutes. It was Jesus. supposed to be, I think, one hour, and it just fucking kept going. Oh, my God, bro. By the way, everybody in the chat, guys, hit the like button. If you want us to uh, keep yes. doing Friday nights the way we do it, hit the like button and stick the thumb way up my rectum, baby, if you can in the chat. Thank you very much. Seriously, th this guy makes the best super villain ever. That yes. mask is great. That fucking... That jacket. That the jacket. jacket. <laughs> it looks like uh, something Serpenter would wear. It's like, probably like three grand, probably plus. It's Captain Nazi. More. That's great. <laughs> it's Captain. Oh, Captain apparently Nazi. he's. Uh, some people are going around on the internet saying that he is now a black white supremacist. <laughs> now, automatically, that uh, if you're if those words come out of your mouth or you type those yeah. words, um, Clayton, you need a uh, cinder block in the head because the man's black and he certainly is no white supremacist. Because I've never heard him say, "Oh, the white race is the better race." But, He's never said that shit, so shut the fuck up. Wait a second. I think if you look on his arm, is that a rose on his arm? Um uh, Yeah, rose? or it's a mermaid. I can't tell. Hold on, let me let me try to It looks like a fucking rose. Oh dude, it looks like a you're you're tattoo shaming now, huh? It looks like you a people? fish though. I don't know, man. It looks weird. Look, he loves fish sticks. Okay, I love fish oh, sticks. Oh no, oh come on. I love fish sticks. Come, come on. on. Clayton on, Bigsby. Nah. Good old Clayton Bigsby. <laughs> now, <laughs> I can't even talk to you. You look like a jungle. No, <laughs> uh, but no, I love Clayton. <laughs> I don't, I can smell them jungle hoppers from here. You jungle bunny, I smell. Hey, just cause. <laughs> I smell, I smell my divorce, my wife, you cracker ass motherfucker. Fucking <laughs> 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 Clayton Bigsby, you know I don't believe it. Clayton, <laughs> Clayton well, Bigsby. Did you hear that? Um, here's another thing that hasn't been discussed very much, but uh, apparently ye called out Chappelle for stealing a joke from Owen Benjamin. Really? Yeah, he did. Yep. Oh, yeah, I know if what you're talking Owens about. Benjamin. Yes. Oh, wait. Here Brutus, is half dance below the truck. And Clayton Bixby, black white supremacist, ventured out into an unsuspecting world. And by the irony. <laughs> you better get out of here for some bad <laughs> That's right. That's right. Kill that nigger. Be it. Oh, Kill that nigger. Come on. Clayton, we, we, gotta, we gotta go. Oh, thanks. There's a nigger around here. That dirty monkey was beating my hood. <laughs> Dave Chappelle, dude, is the fucking... That is still the funniest fucking skit I've ever heard, god damn yeah. it. it, it yeah. God damn that it. That show, that show. <laughs> you want to see my face? <laughs> like, like, ah. Dude, when that guy's head explodes... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and when the, the, the cloak comes off. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Someone needs to help Kanye, though. I mean, legit. This is like, how do you? Cause don't. So Leo was bringing up the point that when this happens to a woman, they get like completely controlled and put away, like Britney Spears. But I argued with her that that's not true because it happens to anybody. It happened to the guy from uh, who created Marvel stuff. Your, what, your wife doesn't believe in MK Ultra. She she can't believe in this right. stuff. But yes. like, like it happened to the guy from Marvel. What's his name? Stan Lee. It happened to Stan Lee. He was like, his whole shit was taken over, and he was like put in the basement while people controlled his money. Happened to Britney Dude, Spears. If, if he wasn't yeah. an artist, he'd be thrown in an institution right now. Stealing shit. Well, yeah, and that's why. Like, but even Kanye, it's like, but Kanye's still kind of running amok. Britney Spears didn't really. She got. She now can run amok, but she was locked away for like how many years? You know what I mean? Kanye's been running like I'm surprised someone hasn't attempted yet and I know we talked about Kanye did go away and that may be where he got MK Ultra but I'm surprised Kanye hasn't gone away and someone's tried to take over his um what do you call it it's residence yeah I, I, what I'm, 
I want to mention something real quick is that the, um, okay. So the symbol that he tweeted out, um, oh my God. dude, I saw okay, that so, live. I was watching his tweets that like he posted that. I was like, Holy fuck. So I talked about this is that, uh, that belongs to, that was the original symbol of the Raelians. Right. Uh, you know, the, the religion Raelianism, yeah. which is a cult based in Canada, you know, aliens, uh, oh, came Lord. in and did all this <laughs> stuff, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so uh basically uh he he posts this and this is a, a symbol that uh you know they've used for a long time but this company has uh sorry this cult has a company called clonade in 98 i believe actually oh. earlier in the early say 97 i believe they went in front of american congress and talked about the fact that they owned a company that was uh already cloning humans humans mm. and we already at this point had that company in oh, in, yeah. in south korea where that was cloning uh the lamb i can't remember dolly oh yeah dolly the, the lamb yeah yeah so basically this company in the late uh, 90s early 2000s through that time was uh, speaking with congress was coming out and saying yep we have a company and you can look it up it's called clonade c l o n a i d clonade so they claim that they've been cloning anything for the last 22 plus years right and this oh, was the oh. symbol that uh kanye um Dude. published also so you're, he so had, you're uh, to say think of how important kanye it would be is cloned Yes, that's what Dave, Dave is saying Kanye's cloning. Think of how important it would be to clone people, but not just clone them, but potentially, yeah. right, because they're always 30 years ahead or whatever, I'm right? Saying that. Clo- I'm not saying no, that. No, I'm I know you're not, I know you're not saying, there. but listen, listen. Cloning him, and then they'd have to speed up the aging process. So would it be easier to clone someone and then somehow grow them faster, or is it easier to mind manipulate them? Go ahead. See, no, I'm not saying that, but what you are t- talking about right now is something that a lot of people have talked about, is that Hollywood celebrities, uh, well, considering that you look at them and many of them look identical, despite being totally different, uh, different names, different families and stuff, but you can connect their family line as being related, uh, it does seem to be if you really want to d- jump off the deep end here and into the rabbit hole, but yep, there's some right. sort of cloning operation that's going on um, that has duplicated celebrities for quite some time. Eminem has sort of talked about this as a rapper that recently came came out, said he's a second generation clone. Um, a lot of these operations seem to be coming out of Canada, but you can find them in other places. You can think of it as crazy as you want. But when these people are these rappers and stuff are coming out and saying this, you make up your own mind. I'm not going to tell you what to think. And but what, when you start to take a look at these people are related and some of them look identical, there's a little bit more to this than you might believe. And the reason people say, "Why is the reason for this?" Well, the reason for this is, can you imagine? And now, now with social media too, it's not just it's not just celebrity, right? Because you can understand how. A celebrity being influenced would be very important at any time in history. But with the outreach of social media, if you can get your hands on a celebrity to make them do things to their outreach that they can do, you know, to put a part of it, to put an agenda out there or to back something or to drive a narrative, man, like, I mean, you talk about Epstein Island, right? One of the goals of Epstein Island may have been, we don't know 100%, I don't think, but there's a lot of speculation. It could be that it can be to get cuz everybody took a picture with Epstein. That's why if mm-hmm. you're if you're if you're fighting with your Republican friends or Democrat friends or whoever friends you're friends with, someone goes like, "Oh, look at this, Epstein with Trump. Oh, look at this, Clinton with Trump. Oh, look at this, Bill Gates with Trump." But the fact of the matter is, of all three of those people, Bill Gates is the only one that went there a million times over in the book and everything else. So but then there's people that went to the island and maybe took a picture or two here or there with Epstein. They have nothing to do with any of it. They just went there like everybody else did. So the point is, get all these celebrities on the island, get as much dirt on everybody you can, let them do as much stuff as you can so you have it's the dirt on them. what's been discussed is right. that this whole Epstein situation really was what's called a honeypot. Yes. They would bring in politicians and compromise them. So yep. they knew the politician had a penchant for underage boys or girls or prostitutes or whatever, they'd supply them 
with it, but they would do so in one of their fucking hotel rooms uh-huh. that had, you know, a gazillion cameras inside. Yeah, they had all the angles they needed. So then they pull this guy into a fucking room and they show him the video and like, okay, well, your wife and kids would be devastated and your political career would be destroyed. So here's what you're going to do. That bill that you opposed about fucking uh, gun control, you're going to support it. You're actually going to vote exactly like we tell you or this video comes out and you're going to be destroyed. So this is how they control these people. And it came out that the whole Epstein operation being run by the Mossad of Israel uh, was basically a way to try to entrap American politicians to um, basically vote on whatever laws they wanted. This yeah. Fact. Yep. And it's because they nab this junk on everybody. They can almost everybody's basically everybody's compromised then. And think about it this way, guys. Um, all these uh, politicians are like, oh, I'm so against homosexual marriage and blah, blah, blah. They get caught in a fucking hotel soliciting an underage kid. Yeah, right. They only <laughs> got caught because they weren't pulling the party line. So they, you know, the, their handlers were said, OK, uh, let's alert the police so that when we set up this fucking deal, you know, for him to have sex with the kid, the cops will show up and, uh, you know, show him, hey. We're the ones who tell you what to do, and you're going to do what we tell you to do. So, but in in the most cases, you know, if if they they've got that penchant, well, if they follow the party line, well, the, these elites will continue to allow them to abuse kids or you know get prostitutes or whatever the fucking degeneracy is. But this is how it works in politics. Yeah, it's sick, and that's where the cloning thing comes in. Because forget mm. that, th- this is the opposite of that, right? Like, this is the inverted version, right? Like, the 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 inverted version is you, you set everybody up so you have all the dirt on them to manipulate them that way. But this is the, um, what's the external version of that, I guess, where you actually could clone somebody with tons of influence and make them do what you want for your narrative with their outreach and social outreach, that's that. That's the other version of it. So there's no doubt if they're they're doing the Epstein it stuff allows them to stay in the limelight as long as you want them to. So if the first one starts to degenerate, uh, dies or whatever the case is, is you've got another one on tap to continue on with your storyline. They never died in the first place. You know, nobody noticed a difference. Yeah, and nobody noticed this either. I'm gonna gargle your piss. Let's go to the donations, guys. If you want to donate, um, the donation link is in the chat pin to the top. Use that donation link if you want to support the show. It's Friday night, man. Are you ready? Laugh. Yeah. People can laugh at what we're saying. Yeah. But there's other <laughs> people that have said this. I mean, people that are much more uh knowed and knowledgeable than we are, Joe. Yeah. And you know, I'm, I'm certainly no slouch, but there's people who have, you know, spent their life researching this stuff and they've got the evidence to show this. So, before you who us, look into those that we are referencing. And thank you to Luis Erdineta for uh, resubscribing earlier. 18 months. He said the best got them show the best goddamn show in the business. Uh, thank you to Luis Erdineta for that type of support. Shit man. bomb. No doubt about it. Here's Chief Time Wild. to go to Dollar Tree and buy a net and a bottle of YooHoo. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? A net and a bottle of YooHoo? Because that's what you, Kanye you know what Yahoo? that's referencing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what that's referencing? Yeah, he Netanyahu. didn't watch the full thing. That's why Netanyahu. He didn't, I get yeah, it. Really get it. I get it. No, but oh, okay. Kanye Kanye West kept pulling out the um, mm-hmm. the YooHoo. Oh. And in fact, he had he had the uh, the net uh, catcher, oh, and he kept referring that to Netanyahu, the I'm former like prime pro- minister and then crack of crackheads. Uh, Stop the trafficking. Chief, and- Chief Wahoo, thank you for that donation. Let's hear a little bit of that. Instagram is sex trafficking. And I'm probably the lowest IQ here of anyone speaking. Oh, Dick. Adam, I've got, I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, uh, Alex, what we did is we brought Netanyahu with us. Ah. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm in the twilight zone right now. Netanyahu. <laughs> Dude, you know when Alex is saying that, that's it. Bro. Like Kanye West, <laughs> Alex Jones, Alex Jones. Like he has no idea what to do. Yeah, yeah. Basically, he Alex Jones, Alex Jones. That's the yep. best way to fucking say it. Yeah, I mean, dude, the the frogs being gay thing makes a lot more sense, maybe than any of this. But it, it just it's hilarious because even Alex realized, shit, I can't win against this. Yeah, I'll just sit well, back yeah. and. How can you? How fucking can you? <laughs> well, and Alex, to be honest, 
Alex has become somewhat of a sympathetic figure to some people today because they're like compared you, you, to that. Well, it's not just that, dude. It's it's you know how you know you know. Listen, Alex has flaws and he's made and he's done some bad right. stuff, mistake wise and things like that. But a lot of people that think this guy's the devil today, or the, for the last couple of years, or the people that joke and they don't really Many know. Years. The, yeah, and the people that don't really know Alex, but they go, "Yeah, he's like a Nazi or some crazy, whatever the fuck." Today, the guy's they, a libertarian. They, I know, but they saw this clip today. A lot of people, and a lot of people said who don't really know Alex Jones. Like we all know, we pay attention to a lot of things he says. We know who he is, kind of. But all these people that just thought he was some raving, I'm a I'm a demon Republican church guy and I'm making shit up and I want kids. That's what they hear when they see Alex. They don't really know who he is. But so today, what happened with this clip was a lot of people that were like, man, I thought this guy was a psycho evil bastard, but he's actually like, what the fuck? You know, so they're actually starting to now think like, do I have some of this guy wrong a little bit? I would think he'd like what Kanye's saying. I'm confused. So w- inadvertently... Kanye West has opened the eyes to many people to Alex Jones that he's not necessarily the most evil thing ever like they thought, you know, because Kanye's saying this stuff. Well, you don't have a clip of Alex Jones saying stuff like this. And by the way, some earlier, some person on the news the other day, and they said, even Alex Jones, a Sandy Hook denier. And it's like, OK, he's not a Sandy Hook denier anymore. You know what I mean? Like he questioned Sandy Hook and said that it was actors for like a week or something. But this news reporter the other day said he's a Sandy Hook denier. He's not that. That's a lie. Uh, Alex Jones, that who at one, the correct language is Alex Jones, who at one time questioned if yeah, school sh- Sandy Hook was real and said they were actors at one point. Or Alex Jones, who has questionable takes or whatever she wants to say. But she straight up said Alex Jones, who's a Sandy Hook denier, he's not a Sandy Hook denier. At one time, he, he, he was, and for like a week, and he questioned it. It's like... so. You she, know what? Here's another thing that people need to consider, is that even if he continued to be that way... If you're gonna sue, if you're gonna basically say he owes three trillion dollars, okay? Now, oh, most yeah. third world countries couldn't even fucking afford that, but three trillion dollars, um, you've already disproven yourself. If you need to like attack this guy and and try to charge, like, what damage has he done that warrants three trillion dollars? No, it, what it does show Theater. is that you're so threatened by what he does have to say, yep. whether right or wrong. Again, basically, this is not 1984, although we're going that way. There is no thought police, or there shouldn't be. You believe something regardless. Like, look, I know people who believe in the flat earth. I don't believe in that. Uh, I will dispute it. I will discuss it. But I'm not going to hate the person who's fucking saying it. Yeah. It's okay? like and they should like, have the right to fucking say it. They're not, causing, they're not causing any problems. Uh, Ye was suspended for that image of the mm-hmm. Arabians. Um, and the reason was inciting violence. Absolutely not. If anything, if you got an issue, perhaps you want to start an investigation with all the money you got, Elon, into the Raelians. Because they're the ones who used it. Old Kanye did, being, you know, uh, misguided and stuff, was take an image that had a Star of David with a swastika in the middle. Again, a swastika used for thousands of years as a symbol of the sun. And yeah. it wasn't even canted, which means... Uh, but with his rotated. context, dude, with, with the, the shit he was saying and shit, he wasn't meaning it that way. That's yeah, it was, it was kind of a... yeah. What he was saying was not. It's not. I get what you're saying. Like you, you could argue about how yeah, the yeah, symbol's yeah, yeah. been taken over, but you, but you know what I mean. The symbol's been taken over. Yes, but it was taken over in 1940. It's too late. The thing's tainted. You know what I mean? Yeah, like exactly. you, you, exactly. if the it's Hindus over. still use it's it, over. everyone else in the rest of the world doesn't give a flying fuck about what happened in World War II when it comes to swastika because it's something that predates that. And they're going to continue to use it whether you like it or not. The Buddhists, the Hindus, the fucking Navajos, they're going to continue to use the sun symbol, I which re- just, you know, happens to be a swastika. Well, and they don't give a flying fuck. I really see it from them. I mean, where? 
Where do you where do you really yeah. see it? You know what I mean? Like out in public everywhere and from that. You know what I mean? Like we, we use it in the history books. I mean, you know, that's it's like sort of that way. Like we use it in the history books. It's in Germany, because in Germany displaying that flag is apparently illegal because, you know, it's no, like a nothing company makes sure that you don't repeat your history by, you know, ignoring it entirely. I, I and you know, I'm terrible with analogies, but it's like if a bar is well known for stabbings, so they rename the bar from like, you know what I mean, happy times to you know no, Carlito's happy. bar, and it's like they well there was nothing wrong with Happy Times. It was it was like great name and what a place, but they had to rename it because people were getting stabbed and the idea of it they had to get rid of it. It's this sort of the same thing. It's like well it's too late. Like the not that flag is represents what Hitler did. Now Hitler took over that fucking symbol and tainted it yeah. and that sucks for them but that's what he did he's so like no, nobody nobody no but nobody in the rest of the world cares about that shit in the west they do i know but in well India, no, they care they about it i mean that. in thailand they keep using that they care about it in europe they care about it in, in europe they do they don't like it in france they don't like it in germany they don't like it in the uk they don't like it in, in the west well that's not the is the is the uk the west yes Basically, it's North America and any white. Nation Australia of doesn't like Europe. it. Australia, not the West, are they? Are they yes, not- it is. It's considered the West. The West is basically first world nations. So okay, so but did, we're well, well, all over the globe here. North America is the West. I mean, Australia is the West. The UK okay, is the that's West. The, thing, though, the West, it's the West of Europe. So basically anything North America onwards, you know, you've got Australia there. But again, I don't think they like the not, I don't, by Western. They don't like in Russia. Uh, is the Russia the West? Nope. Eastern. It's um, Oriental. Where, like, I mean, where's the West? Where's the East? Basically, it starts at Germany and it moves. Uh, I'm well, just telling you West that is, it starts Germany. And moves you know why West. those people don't care? Because they weren't involved in the war, really. And it didn't really affect them. They're a completely different religion. And they're kind of. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're the ones that dealt with it, so we're the ones upset by it. Even, even Japan. Japan doesn't like it either. You know, Japan wouldn't have Nazi symbols. They, they're not fans of that either. Oh, well, no, 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 no. Don't you go there, though, because I can show you stores where they're actually called Hitler. The show, the, the store is called Hitler. It's got swastikas. Really? It's got, oh, okay. I'll, no, I'll I, said, re- I said really, like, I mean, you know, I'm... Cure. I no. didn't know that. I'm not saying I'm not denying you. I'm saying I didn't know. No, that. I'm, I want to bring you up to date on this because there are certainly a lot of uh, stores out there in uh, the Orient, so Eastern Asia. Yeah, but we where, have a lot of um, we have well, we have, we have clubs. Adolf Hitler, for example, is um, you know featured as the um, I guess the character of the. Of the I do uh, see an I do see Nazi themed bar in Japan ridiculed and nazi costumes in japan i see that okay so, so there's a store called back. hitler there's a store called hitler's cross um that's weird but they don't hitler ice cream now they are here's the thing in america though we have areas where people have those flags the thing that i don't understand about that in america with the flags and the kkk groups and that stuff there's not much of it here but where it is it's kind of like weird because it's like a lot of these people's parents fought the Nazis in World War Two, So it's like, what are you doing? Like someone called, like one, remember someone called me a Nazi once. They were like, ah, you fucking Nazi or something. I'm like, I'm a Nazi. My fucking grandfather fought the Nazis. So how am I a Nazi? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, what the fuck? My grandfather fought the Nazis. What did your grandfather do? Like, what are you doing? Why would my, why would I, why would I be a Nazi? Like, I don't, we don't like them. We fucking beat them. But like, so it's just weird. There's a lot of that going on. But then these people have Ukraine flags on their fucking stuff. So it's, it's like, okay, there's a whole bunch of them there. But uh, like, a lot of people have made that point is that um, this Azov uh, unit uh, in Ukraine, which has been utilizing Nazi symbols and has been photographed and featured doing the uh, the Roman salute, uh, you know, flying Nazi flags and such. They're in Ukraine, and this is something that the uh, Biden administration is totally ignoring. And uh, I heard Biden has a nice pecker, by the way. Now, let's go to the donations. I'm sorry. Here we go. Dunkachino? Oh! Don't mind if I do! What's my name? Dunkachino! It's a whole new game. Dunkachino! Dunkachino! Oh, creamy goodness, I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate. Jersey City Boys. This show's awesome right now. 
clapping hands. Oh, Jersey City boy. That's damn right. It's because I'm here. Despite oh, all yeah. the haters saying, oh, Dave Rose, you'd bring the show down. Uh, no, you're just fucking stupid. When so I plan to me. act pompous. Yes. <laughs> what, what else, Dave? What when I what plan you? to act pompous, you <laughs> shall certainly know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, t- take it away, Extreme Shaft. That's that's funny. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, Shaft. That's uh, funny. That's, I into the that's chat funny. earlier, but he disappeared. What are you doing, Luke? You got scared. Luke, use the force, Luke. Luke, Luke, I am your ass. Well, he saw you here. He was like, oh. No, well, I'll shut the fuck up if he wants to talk. That's fine. I'm come, patient, man. Come back, Luke. More ass. Yeah. That's that's funny. Yeah. That's that funny. funny. That's funny. Coming yeah. for your wife, Tony. Ah, she fucking the breadwinner. Ah, you loser. Ah, you're gonna get killed by jail people. Ah. Sit enough patience. Oh yeah. Faith. That's that's oh, yeah. funny. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! What's happening? Oh, fuck it. What's happening? What's happening to my asshole? What's happening to my asshole? Mm, Fuck yeah. What's happening to my ass? What's happening to my asshole? Juice, that fucking cunt, that fucking juice is on the loose. That pussy screws all of the men. Fucking cunt, pussy juice wants its. My Chinese wife's a hooker. All your juice, fucking fucking cunt, communist cunt. That cunt is on the loose. That pussy juice I want that broken cunt Pussy juice Nom 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 Broken cunt Pussy juice All I want in my mouth I can't take all of it It's dripping down my throat so wet Broken cunt Pussy juice Broken cunt It's all I want Here, I smell it from there. The I ghost from your the underwear. ghost. I nibble it up. I gobble it all. I make your Let pussy. It rain, and rain, then it's all I want to withdraw. Your fucking cunt. Your deep of me is on my front. I fucking lick it up my tongue. Oh, God. Pussy juice. Pussy juice. Pussy juice. Pussy juice. Pussies the size of a goddamn moose I want it so bad I can chase it from here I wanna munch it I'll munch your rear Whoa Almost as long as the turkey donation Bill Gates makes me sick He's always signing but has the most dirt Yeah, I gotta be honest, man of everybody, Bill Gates seems to be the worst Like, he is a fucked up person And here's what- war crimes well, and what tells you that too is his wife because and you know what? Not to, I'm not trying to throw my wife under the bus, but I was going in on Bill Gates and my wife was kind of like, you know, what why, why don't you leave Bill Gates alone? Isn't he just like a nice like you're just so weird. And I'm like, "No, wait a minute." I'm like, "No, you don't understand what this guy's done." And I told my wife, "And you don't understand how hard it is for me to say this because I grew up loving Bill Gates. The everything he did with computers and how he ran Microsoft and what was going on, I really did it. like exactly. I love this guy like I'm seriously and to find out the stuff that I keep finding out about him I'm like Leah you have no idea and I'm like he I'm like he he cheats on his wife he was on the island he did all these things and she's like oh the island you're fucking weird crazy and then the Epstein Island thing came out for real and then they got Epstein and all that stuff and I'm like there see the thing I told you like it's the thing with him and then I'm like, and if that's the, the case, like, think about what he did to his, like, he's been cheating on his wife, with, like, kids and all kinds of things. And it, she was like, uh, and then his wife left him. And I said, there's a fucking, uh, like, it's all added. Everything has come true. The guy- I, I hope that uh, when you made the uh, arrangement for wedding, um, that um, 
you put in the stipulations that you get a blowjob every time you're correct. It sounds like already no, because, you've, you've earned at no. least four. Because if you know anything about women, you're never right. So so not, and I, that's why I never argue with your woman over any. Right. Just say you know you're right, honey. I'm yeah, but retarded. What happens when they're confronted like Leo was? Uh, no, it, what happens oh, is I don't have uh, sex for a week. Is what happens. <laughs> So she doesn't like to. That's what no, no, that's what I'm t- no, no, that's what that's women, dude. Like you can't be, you can't be right. There is no right. Like if you're right, you're not having sex. If you're wrong, you're not having sex. In fact, if you're wrong, you might have sex. You might, you're better off being wrong. Like that's the thing. If you're right, you're fucking wrong. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Like it's like you like, it's no, don't do that. No, like, it's better to to do a hate fuck and remind them I was right. Sometimes and you need this dick. Sometimes, so. yeah, and sometimes you got to tell them, t- say I was right, you little fuck. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you got to do that. I get it. Yo, they, Sith. Yeah, they don't like it. Yo, they got to accept it. Let me tell you something, man. Take me, that dick like the let truth. Me tell you let, me, let me tell you something. Most blessed. I'm the most blessed motherfucker in this place. You most blessed here. It's me most blessed. And here's the thing. I just saw the Indiana trailer, the Indiana Jones trailer. And I just tell you, man, the more they Hollywood is convinced that white people are Superman at 90 years old, motherfucking crazy but i love it i seen indy jump up and smack a motherfucker in the face i love it most blessed out i give it five stars i'm out here all right most I blessed love, i love hollywood thank you i don't know man most blessed stopping by most blessed most blessed most blessed okay yeah m- most blessed <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fucking most blessed uh thank you for stopping <laughs> by most blessed it's kind of most deaf i guess you know uh, most blessed given the Indiana Jones trailer a five, whatever that means, I guess. Get five out of five. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's right, though. They do try, <laughs> like, if they're white, you never see them let an old black man kick so much ass, right? But they'll go any lengths Not to yet. bring back the old white guy. Wait wait a couple more years. That's right. Cause, and what you are know you what? talking about? Fucking, what about Samuel Jackson? I was just going to say, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Samuel Jackson. What was that I'm last really? movie he did um, no. with um, Tarantino? Snakes on a Plane 2, and, yeah. and Samuel L. Jackson is like fucking 90, and it's the year 2038. And he's like, I'm Ooh. really tired of well, motherfucking he's, he's actually snake. Gonna be a central. He's going to be a central character in the Marvel uh, Secret Wars. Um, oh, right, really? So the snakes on a plane. He's like, I'm tired of these motherfucking crackers. <laughs> motherfucking plane. <laughs> Most blessed. Blesses most blesses. It's me most, most blesses. Blesses on blesses on blesses. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm yeah. sorry, but uh, thank you, Ghost from the Coast, who dropped a $100 donation, a bomb. Uh, yeah, bro. Thank Super you, man. Bomb. Damn, bro. I haven't seen a bomb in a long... I mean, a 100 bomb like that in a long time. We actually had one the other night, actually, but it's been a while. Thank you for the bomb, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's been a crazy day. I wish I could tell you about my day. Well, I have four hours sleep, so I'm um at right at this point I'm somewhat uh, lucid. Uh, but, you know what? Uh, I wish I could wake up to a lucid dream tonight. I, that's that's funny. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm sorry, but Extreme Shaft literally sounds like a retarded person. Like, hold on, like, oh. that's that's funny. That's, that, that's funny. It's hilarious. That's exactly. funny. That's funny. He's the elder. He's the I've, been, elder. I've been practicing with lucid dreaming. I don't know if you guys, uh, they don't do that sort of thing. Great point. But, uh, I talked about that for some time. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, when you can recognize you're in a dream, you can manipulate it. So, and actually, um, I was going to bring this up. I monetize this. But um, recently, apparently, uh, they were able to communicate with somebody. There was a study group that was set up that uh, was able to communicate with somebody who was lucid dreaming. Um, so they were awake really? and asleep at the same time, and they were interacting with them and figuring out, okay, well, what do you see? What's here? What's it? So it's it's crazy that they've reached that uh, that point. Can you imagine that drug where where it's not just a drug that like gets you in that lucid state, but it's a drug that like actually keeps you there in a lucid consciousness. 
That would be that's dude. When they can do that and like put you on a VR, yeah, mine can do that. We shouldn't have to rely on drugs for that shit. No, I know, but you, you can train yourself to do certain things. But I'm talking about for a long period of time and you know that sort of thing. Like, dude, that is. I mean, that's like hypnotism is a little bit like that, but. If you could put someone in a lucid situation for like two hours, you know, and then exist that way, or who knows what could coast be done. from the coast. Lucid dreaming means basically understand, like lucid means to be awake and dreaming obviously means dreaming. It's but, like when you're in between um, a dream, like when you wake up and you're like. No, it's, it's further, it's further to that is that yeah, you're, you're in, in the a dream. dream, but you realize, holy shit, I'm in a dream. Yes. So at this point, you actually have the ability, if you train yourself, to say, fuck it. I, this is my reality. I can do whatever I want. You can fly. You can recreate your surroundings. You can do whatever you want. So that is what lucid dreaming is about. I used to call it controlling your trip in a way because like, you could really control it and you're, it's a good... I, I, I don't know... I, I want to say one of the ways that I was able to do it where, where like for a little while it was working was melatonin like i would take the melatonin and when i would wake up in the morning i'd go back to sleep and it that's where i would fall into the lucid dream and it would only be like eight minutes like i'd fall asleep for fucking eight minutes and then i would be i'd be aware that i was dreaming and i could start to do stuff in the dream that's not good to me it's, a, it's like it's been like short spurts of dreaming, but mm -hmm. the dreaming was really intense. So it's like I would continue to wake up every 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, and this is annoying. It really wears you down. But mm -hmm. during that that short spurt, you're living in a world where you're aware that you're dreaming, but you're able to do just about anything. Yeah. And most people have had these and you don't even know it if you have because. Yep. But you, some of you should know that you've had this once in a while. Now, it does not happen to me that often. I mean, but I think, and I remember a couple of years ago, I had one really lucid one because I came on here and talked about it. And I was like, man, I fucking, oh, and I woke up, something woke me up and I was fucking pissed because I was really into it, man. And, and it was, uh, it was like a childhood memory too. So it was like, I was live, I was in my old house and I could see my dad, and I was oh, like, I've had. Yeah, oh I've had my those. god! Like, but that's the thing, though. Is that like you watch that and you're like, I know that this is not current. Like, this yeah. was 20 years ago. Like, this was my house as a kid. Yes. And like, I I can see myself in this in this uh, uh, dream. I'm not, you know, five years old. I know this is a dream. And that sort of and there's many little cues that you could take if you train yourself. Um, you know, uh, certain aspects of these dreams, you start to realize, holy shit, this is like, I'm in my old house. This hasn't happened in 20 years. This is clearly a dream. And as such, now I realize I'm lucid dreaming. Oh, yeah. Yep. And it's awesome, except for when you wake up from it. And then you're like, oh, no, like, I, I lost yeah, it. It's, but yeah, I, it, it's so vivid, though. It's so, like, real, like... It's amazing what your mind can do, but if you put yourself into these positions, you can you can recreate a total reality. You're like your former house, uh, an amalgam of, I don't know, uh, your old house and your new house, whatever. Yeah, and, and I remember being, dude, I was so thankful for mine because the only way to compare it is like, do you know when a, like say a TV show is on TV for like four years and you loved the TV show? And then suddenly the TV show came back like 20 years later and they did a season that was really good. And you were like, man, that was so cool that we got to see that. That's what it was like in my dream. I was in my parents' bedroom and I was interacting with my dad. And then I was going to the bathroom for stuff, going through the drawer and bringing stuff to him and talking to him. And I don't remember now exactly how it's gone because the memory is faded now, but it was a, two years ago. And dude, the lucid dream it was like i was really getting to speak to him it wasn't just like a little dream where you talk to so you know whatever it was like so real that it was like and it wasn't a real memory but all the memories were real and everything came together like it was real and it was like i got to experience a moment with my dad in my old house that didn't really happen but it was new and it was living it and i woke up and yes. i was like holy Dude, I, shit i i i like i it, like it's almost haunting sometimes for me Crazy because it's how like, the brain works. you know, I've, I've experienced some times where my mind's fucked, but like, 
you know, like mathematical equations. And it's like, I'm in my dream. I'm like, okay, I'll figure out that math. And I'm starting to figure it out. And then I start to think, hold on, I'm in a dream. And I'm literally mm-hmm. figuring out a mathematical equation. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And when you, and dude, that that's, I'm sure some people, dude, can you imagine like a really smart mathematician who's crazy smart, mathematics, and you know, that's all he thinks about all the time. And he goes into a lucid moment where he's brainstorming and thinking, and like he might, like th- some ideas may pop in there. It's, that's yeah, right. wild to think about, but, dude. You were saying it earlier. Is it like, again, with like calculating mathematics or whatever theories and all that, but talking to people in your, in your lucid dream, and and then being exposed, like, it's amazing, like, you, you're talking to somebody, and then they're telling you things th- that you may or may not even know, uh, or if you did, you know, maybe it was subconsciously, or it's just the culmination, maybe your subconscious has put it all together for you, and now has constructed this person telling you what it is. But I've encountered that, which is like, holy shit, like, I'm, I'm having such an intellectual conversation with someone in a dream. And it and you know it's a dream, but it's just like, what the fuck? I can't even find this sort of conversation in real life. Yeah. So it, it was, it, it blew me away in multiple times when such shit like this has happened. Let's go to the donos again. The ghost from the coast dropped a $100 drop. And then we'll talk about Indiana Operator Jones. of the night. Oh, yeah. that, where, you should have put that up on the screen. Well, Ghost from the Coast is like, he's funded this stream tonight. Without Ghost from a Coast, we'd be bankrupt almost. Thank you, Ghost. There you go. Hell well, yeah. I, uh... You raised a piece of shit. Acknowledge Botch Club. Merry Christmas, oh, Joe and shit. Crime Nation, and a Happy New Year. Hey, Merry Christmas. And guys, if you don't follow Botch Club on Instagram, you're missing out every well, I day. Do. You, I, I love do, it. But- Sometimes it's hard to watch that stuff because, you know, I, okay, granted, I give you this botch club. It's important to highlight stuff, but some is so difficult to watch. It's so you mean because it's so bad or like yes. the, the mess up? And plus, I, I don't want to see these people hurt, but holy fuck. Sometimes, yeah. you know, you see some very bad things. Dude, you see some, yeah, some things that are Fuck, dude! dude I it's, it's wrestling snuff, basically. Change yeah. your name to wrestling snuff. How about wrestling that? snuff? Watch oh, fun. Dave, I'm taking <laughs> that. That's it. Let's take that and create that channel. And it's only like <laughs> brutal injuries and like really bad brutal. Oh hurt. no, it's just yeah. it hurts oh my so god! Much, and I want to see the good stuff. Hurt. What's this now? What is this? Santa Claus is coming, everybody! Here he comes! This is unbelievable! He's here! Santa's here. I don't believe it. It's been a long time. These people, they've been waiting all day. Oh, yeah. There he goes. He's coming down from the rafters. Is that Santa Michaels? Look at this. Oh, what a ride. Yeah. Hey, I said that, Vince. Look at this. I mean, now he's transitioning into Owen Hart mode at this point. He's in Shawn Michaels mode. Will he go Owen Hart mode? I don't know. No, he won't. He just gets stuck. Okay, big boss man mode, I guess. <laughs> That's a hundred feet in the air! I love Vince. Do a, do a flip, damn it. Dude, Dude, when he was doing wait, I'm sorry. I thought something way more horrific was coming there, but it, yeah, can right? you like? can you imagine if, like, he had the rope snapped and he went flying down and I mean, he was okay. I mean, he's just crashed and he, he, he was went, okay, he course. somehow did Shawn Michaels and Owen Hart in one. I mean, that would be, and the, and the guy played the like Owen mostly Hart's music. Owen Hart. Mostly <laughs> Owen. I'm sorry. That's just, I can't. And speaking of botch club, here's some more. Look at this. Oh my god, this is disturbing. Let's go and left and right. Stone cold. Yes, stone cold's here. What's up, everybody? Hey, what's up? Let's do this right. I'm gonna butt pump you tonight. Um, that's weird. Sith Negan has points about Sasha Banks coming back. What, at Wrestle Kingdom? Is that what you said, Sith? I missed what you said in the chat, but... Everybody uh, type in, everybody write Sith in the chat and then write 69 because that's weird. Just do it right now. Sith 69. Everybody, let's go. 
Let's see. Seth, 69. Oh, this one's bad, too. Look at this. Ooh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Look out! Ah! Oh! Dude, he knocked himself out. His jaw hit the ground, bro. Woo! Oh! Well, here he comes from the top. He went. Oh my goodness, no! Dude, where's the Jim Cornette like clip where he's like, and Vince is like, Ugh, from the wrestling, whatever that move. It needs some work. Yeah, it needs some work there. Yeah, I love that clip. What was um, what, that? Was the that, man? And we learned all kinds of stuff about Jake Roberts in that movie, Beyond the Mat. There it is. Uh, so, yeah, just go follow Botch Club for more of that because there's just hundreds of it. It's just every day. He's got 40,000 followers on Instagram. That's crazy. Yeah, if you got the in intestinal fortitude to suffer yeah. through watching multiple things. But you know what? I side with uh, sports entertainer Chris <laughs> Jericho, who says there are no such thing as botches. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey, Jackie Chan's in the chat. Should have had some no shit way. go down with Bow Wow. Oh, Jackie Cha. I want to see. Chewy? Don't you want to see little Bow Wow eat out Jade on OnlyFans? That's what I want to no. see. No, he doesn't deserve such a honor. Well, imagine that, though. Come on. Uh, but I can totally see that guy eating a, another guy's ass. Just eating ass. a eating a guy's ass. asshole out. Come on, the, the guys. You can see this guy in fucking jail with his fucking pants around his fucking ankles, and he's just like, "Hey, boys." Oh, oh, it's yeah. a little bow wow. Hey there, Come on. Boys. Ask the ass. Me, She's already groomed by fucking Hollywood. Excuse me. I'd like to groom you. Could you just come over here for a second? Also, have you seen how he's like thrown on weight? My God. Who's that? Bow wow. Bow looks really? Like oh, I didn't even he, notice that. I thought he looked. Uh, maybe oh, no. I... He's he's certainly looking pudge. Dude, I did not look Real at him close fluffy. enough. Right? He's fluffy. Well, I mean, he's got nothing going on. I mean, like, this is the most attention yeah, he's ever. certainly hey, does. He's washed up. The other day, yeah. that fucking, you know, you tried that shit in fucking, you know, I don't know, any city, and you'd be probably arrested for modesty. I mean, right. look what she was wearing. I mean, I are they banging? Is that why they're fake? Is this why it's like a fake fight that they got going on, or... What's the story here? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get what it, where this came from with Lil Bow Wow. It's, it's probably the fact that he's a fan of hers and that, uh, you know, Tony Khan is always willing to allow celebrities to pop in to create some sort of, you know, attention. And, um, yeah, that's probably where it's coming from, really. Sid Negan says, I'm predicting that Sasha Banks... Uh, Mercedes challenges the winner of Kyrie versus Tam Nakano for the IWGP Women's World Title at the second night of Wrestle Kingdom. Wow! Wow! Is that this weekend? No, that's. I mean, Wrestle Kingdom is until January, right? Like January fifth or sixth or third or um, something. I don't know. Unaware, but um a lot of people are sort of speculating that uh both her and um Naomi ah! will not be returning to the WWE. Yeah. So who knows what's gonna happen. But I I'm ignorant as to their contract status. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether or not they're being forced to work out, you know, the clock per se on their contract. Um but it has obviously they're able to continue to do appearances publicly, uh, you know, movie, you know, uh, roles and such. So I really don't know what's going on with them. I don't know if you have any information. With no, I don't. I don't really understand what's going on. It's very weird. It seems like she's playing hard to get and doesn't want to come back right now at all. I think that from what I've seen, at least, and maybe I'm wrong, um, that they're both done. They're both dumb because they've seen the the pinch of Hollywood that uh, mm -hmm. they can certainly get the roles. I gotta say yeah. this, and they can play, um, they can still sprinkle around some wrestling in other places without being committed to WWE. Oh, hold on, uh, you're making a good point here. Is okay, so we had Sasha Banks actually appear in The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. Um, to be quite honest, I didn't pick up on that until I watched back later. I'm like, hold on a second, there is that Sasha? And then I looked it up. It's like, holy shit, it is Sasha. 
So that actually think, I think, you know, put things in perspective is that she was able to, and again, I'm not obsessed with her. I don't really think she's a big deal, but apparently a lot of people do. Regardless is that she did such a great performance in that show that I only saw the performance. I didn't see the person. And then eventually I found out it was her. Um, if she could do such a good job there, I think she could do a good job with a lot of different roles out there. And if that's the case, why go back to wrestling and ruin your body when she can work on her acting skills and her appearance and certainly sell herself sufficiently where she doesn't need to endanger her life? Well, I just don't know what role she's going to get. I feel like she's got like, I feel like she got like a little bit of Hollywood and suddenly like she thinks she is Hollywood because what, I mean, she's not on the Mandalorian anymore. There's no, nothing there's else really going on that I know of. It's simple. It's simple. She, she made that. She dipped her, fit in, if her, her foot into that. Sorry, Dave, interrupt. hold on. Dave, well, hold Getty on. Getty Lee's got to. Getty. You, you go to porn, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think she would go back to WWE before that. Not yet. She's not at sunny level yet. Oh, okay, she, okay. She would, <laughs> she would go back to that, WWE. Uh, oh, farting. She, oh, no. She has said she wants to do music next, but I don't know what musical oh, no. skills she has. I don't understand. How that Uncle, is. Uh, Snoop Dogg apparently will uh, I probably see her. just she just doesn't want to you know, like let me be honest. Like it took me, right? And I, listen, I'm just gonna relate to this. It took me a while to realize that I needed to get back to work. Like outside of YouTube. It took me a while because it, for a while I was like, No, I do YouTube now, like I don't need to do that. Like I'm somebody on here, like and I'm making a living like this I'm not gonna go back to a regular job. You know, it took me a while. Like I went through like depression about it. I didn't feel I felt weird, like I I didn't feel I felt sad. I went through all this fucked up shit until I finally was like, Okay, I really do have to go back to work and like do regular you know it I couldn't believe it, you know, because I was so like used to four years four straight years of not needing to work a regular job for the man. And so it was sad to have to go back to that, almost like a child actor or something. So I went through a weird thing. And I wonder if she's not going to see this sort of, you know, she's almost like, cause, and she has a lot more money than me, right? She has no kids. She has a ton of money. So yeah, she cool. has she has the, bil the ability to just glide and take a commercial here or there, be on a little show here or there, and do all these little things that make her five to fifteen grand a month. He was and, demanding thirty thousand per appearance at right. independent wrestling I mean, events. Yeah, that, she's good. And she got paid at least for one of those. Yeah. I mean, that's she, she does. She realized, and this is all without OnlyFans, right? Never mind if I she hate her for this. In fact, you know, I gotta tip my hat. Um, again, without OnlyFans, she's not hoarding herself out. Right? She's marketing herself out, and with the establishment that she's already made, appearing in movies and uh, showing that she's willing to do wrestling shows and stuff. She doesn't have to do. She, she's got the MJF fucking uh, red carpet now. She can just stop all wrestling. And and MJF talked about this actually the other day. It's like he could literally just stop and go straight Hollywood and not even look back. Same with fucking Mercedes. Yeah, she's making a killing. And she, but again, if she wasn't doing all that stuff and everything was going to hell or something, she could just do OnlyFans. Dude, Sasha Banks could do a show like Natty, where she's live from a bathtub. In, mm -hmm. in bubbles with a glass of wine and never show anything in it. Just have a bathing suit and literally talk to her chat and make like $500,000 a month. Like, that's really and what she could do. The best part is she certainly won't look like fucking Nyhart. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. And uh, Crazy certainly cat not lady. look like a fucking inflated whore. Too <laughs> uh, <laughs> bimbo. Two bimbos. It's the truth. That's yeah, the you're truth. right. Oh you're my right, god, dude. dude! I don't know why I went to pass off. <laughs> no, it, it looks like fucking Natalia's sister <laughs> stuck one of these fucking uh, air inflator, you know, for your tires into her leg and just inflated her body <laughs> to the point where it's about to burst. 
inflated uh, whore like dude what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck dude oh my god please let me get a clip of that inflated whore what is going on why am what I'm out of um I'm out of fuel or what's the term I'm out oh. of gas. yeah my fuel out tank is run out or whatever my fuel tank run out I'm my out of fuel gas, tank so. is run out I'm out of gas. Dave Rose brings the drama. Oh, oh my god, I can't stand it. <laughs> oh my. Where is it? I gotta find this. I'm gonna fucking pass out. He's live from a bat and make like f a whore. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Nyhart. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. And uh, it's cat, only not look like a fucking inflated whore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> inflated whore. Inflated whore. Can we not look like a fucking inflated whore? <laughs> it's like Stewie from fucking um, Family Guy. It's like white. Yep, exactly. Whip cream. What was that? Can we not look like a fucking inflated whore? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yo, Luke Rojas is here. What's up, Luke Rojas? And look at look at this. Look at this guy on TV. <laughs> look right at there. this. And look at this guy right here, dressed up like the fucking King Cobra's cock. That's a new uh, <laughs> screenshot for the new Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. Uh I I I I'm fucking stoned as hell, so I don't even know what you Bash. guys just said. So <laughs> I don't even we don't even I'm know just... what we said, but look at Kanye West with a mask on his head. I'm just thinking, like, some of the fans of, like, Alex Jones, you know, are probably, like, they didn't even notice that he was wearing a mask. They're like, that's just how they look. (laughs) 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 Oh, my God. (laughs) The fans of Alex Jones, that's just how they look. Darkness. darkness. Well, you tell me, me darkness. That fa- you tell me that failure's wearing a mask. I, Let me ask I, you. Are you sure, Barbara Jane? I can't tell. Where his teeth? <laughs> Let me ask you something, oh, Alex. God. You ever eat an Asian man's dick? All right. He's, all right. Dr- he's dressed up like a gimp, and he's dressed up like a guy who fixes somebody's race car. Like it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> No, this, this is basically um, this would be the fucking Riddler if um, the last oh, Batman yeah. movie was actually good. <laughs> Again, like, wh- why are you denying black people their roles? This guy uh. would have made the greatest Riddler. He looks yeah, it's like weird. it's weird they didn't just they didn't just make the Riddler black. <laughs> you know what? They should have just made Batman black. They should have made the Joker black, uh, and they should have made the Penguin. You have until uh, midnight to deliver me the Batman. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Batwoman tried to make Joker black. It was, was uh, pretty weird. <laughs> oh uh, my but God. I'm I'm re- I'm excited, guys, for you know Indiana Jones five. Finally, we can get that epic conclusion to the Indiana Jones series that we yeah. definitely need. Hopefully. Well, it, it, so I mean, so it, let me just you bring this enjoy up. Enjoy the last episode with the crystal skull. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was so amazing. What what it's even fucking incredible. happened in that movie? Dude, I, <laughs> I didn't hate Great it as much forever. as other people. I didn't hate it as much as others, but it was weird to see a PG whatever Indiana Jones. Like that was I just don't like how these movies look now. They look ugly. Well it's like mm. it's too um you know, for like for an Indiana Jones movie, it looks so like cartoonish, so, you know. It's it's and the other one is CG. It's, it's, yeah, it's su- it, that here. That's the see. Here's the problem. the The other one for Crystal Skull was probably too CG. I don't think this one will yep. be as CG, but this one is CG because the only way to have every scene. Come on, man. Every right. scene with fucking um, uh. Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford has him yeah. de-aged. No, no, that's no, 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 no. See, that's the miscon... No, so, okay. So, he is only de-aged in some of these scenes. And the reason why, I believe, is I think that this movie is going to start off with a 20-minute or so f- time flash or whatever. So, you're going to see... Okay, so it's going to start in the present, 1969. I believe this. And then at some point, something's going to happen where Indy's going to have to explain how he 
did something once, and that's how it's going to tie into the new story. But when, when he goes into this flashback mode where he's explaining something, they're going to have flashbacks of a previous of the story. So there's going to be about 15 to 10 or less minutes of a de-aged Indiana Jones because he's telling the story of what happened. Because in scenes like lots of scenes, he's old. But then in some scenes, he's clearly, it's new footage, but he's de-aged. So there's something going on here, and I don't know if that's how they plan around getting around. Do you know what I mean? Him being able to do cool stunts and crazy shit, because here I he's, don't know. You, you know what I mean? Because here he's old. But look at this. This is a this is de-aged. So this is it's a flashback. Not even, it's not even the CGI that's like looks weird. Ugh, that's just terrible. It's not even the CGI that looks weird. I it's look just good? like the lighting. You the lighting is so like yeah, the lighting is so. And the colors are just so oversaturated, it feels like. It's just too much. Well, the last it's one trying was, too was hard. They're taking, trying a, too they're taking hard. a page out of Michael Bay's uh, film uh, making. I, yeah, this, it, everything has like the shiny second. and fucking explosions and fucking I, I'll be honest, CGI. I don't mind it in this case only because he's so old the only way to make this movie work was to do so much of that but they didn't no, but need to do it in luke the last talking, one luke is talking about the actual um color framing of the movie uh-huh. yeah you, like, you, like yeah dave you're right it does feel like a michael bay like transformers 2 yeah. you know where the, that movie made me hate the desert <laughs> 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 Never wanted to fucking go back to the it's desert after for that. that matter. It's like the sun doesn't look like that in real life. But you're like, I mean, you're being blinded in the fucking theater, and you're like, you know, if you were in the desert, you wouldn't feel the same way. Like we're watching this trailer right now. It doesn't feel like a trailer for an Indiana Jones movie. It feels like like Mr. Covington's Adventures and like a Disney, <laughs> a Disney oh, fucking no, movie it's the Kingsman. Something. It's the Kingsman American version. Yeah. yeah, it is weird. Yeah, it also, yeah, hit... but whoa, oh, what? whoa, yeah. what is this? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, Holy yeah. shit! Seth Egan! Seth Egan is back! Oh my god! Oh yeah! Oh my god. I wanted to be honest, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't Audio Jungle. Look who's back on the donation bomb attack. Here's there an Omega go. Sith Negan bomb to piss off the trolls and put a big smile on Sly Hustle J's face. End of line. Ooh. Hashtag YouTube podcast dictator. Hashtag certified donation legend. Hashtag the enemy designed. Oh my God, uh, man! Holy yeah. fuck! I Sly can't Hustle J. It. That's what we're calling Joe from now on. Sly Hustle J. <laughs> what up, my Sly Hustle J? <laughs> it's on the belt, and we're coming up on monetizes four hundred. Sith freaking Negan bomb! Oh my God, He's bro! Drop the dough. He dropped the dough tonight. Right on top Fucking Sith Negan, Leah, suck me off! <laughs> right on top of Joe, Sith Negan is oh a dope. Oh my God, bro! Wow, look at it go in, He's Kenny Omega. Wow. He's a donation the enemy designed Sith Negan. That's crazy, bro. He dropped the cash. Man, Sith Negan, holy fuck. Sith Negan Nation of the night. Let's 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 play the Indiana Jones theme for Sith Put that Negan. up, Joe. Put it up. What's Top that? donation of the night. Indiana Jones. Uh, okay, Sith Negan. Everybody, here it comes! 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 Listen, that's right. It's coming. It's coming. It's real soon. Yes, Sith freaking Negan, three hundred dollars. Oh my God! 
Sydney Gun, Sydney Gun, Sydney Young, and Sydney Gun, Sydney Gun, Sydney Gun is the man. He dropped three hundred dollars on my fucking ass. Sydney Gun is the man, and he donates, he donates, he donates, he donates. You know what? You can really piss off the trolls by... People are going to be so mad that Sith Negan just donated, dude. You know how mad yeah. people are right now? Well... Stop that he was even in the chat, but it, the, the donation is just the cherry on the top. Now people are punching stuff. Well, guess, well here it comes. Let this is for Sith Negan. Here it comes. 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 It's a Sith bomb. It's Sith's donation. Oh. And it's a sit bomb. Oh, here it comes. Everybody rest up, take a piss, grab a drink. Oh, yeah. Smoke I some shit. I can feel it in the air. I can feel it everywhere. I can feel my hair standing up. He's gonna drop major fucking bucks. It's coming. Isn't it? That's that's funny. It is funny. Yo, I uh, appreciate yeah, that, yeah. Sith Negan. We had to party for a minute because that's that was great. That's pretty Thank fucking you, crazy. I love that, Sith. Thank you, man. That's crazy, bro. Yes. Uh, Such good shit. Leo yeah. Goes, by the way, uh, I think tonight uh, there was a replication of a fight between uh, Queen. Sorry, King Cuerno. Mm. And um, Prince Puma of uh, Lucha Underground, but no. uh, Ricochet, obviously being Prince Puma, faced tonight on um, uh, SmackDown. Um, the guy who used to play King Cuerno, I can't remember his name, but uh, they faced tonight, and a lot of people were looking forward to it because they certainly did good shows in Lucha Underground. So, right, I'll drop that. Now, do you think that they they got in a so wait is a shoot is a shoot fight like they're trying to make it seem like it's real? And like this was one of the planned matches tonight for okay. um, SmackDown, but I just I can't remember I what his it. name is. Um, um, yeah, well, it, monetize this by the way is tomorrow night Saturday night tomorrow monetize night. this. It's back on Saturday night, guys. He's back on Saturday night. Saturday night monetize this and. Yeah. Uh, Yes. Yeah, so, and we're on episode yeah three ninety four ninety five. I forget, but I'll, I'll have the right episode up tomorrow, Saturday night. And four more we, weeks until um, four hundred. So four hundred. I don't know Hell when yeah. four hundred. Four hundred is going to now fall in the new year, two thousand twenty three. Episode four hundred. I have. Uh, you know, on episode three hundred, I attempted to sort of like get all kinds of people to come back and come on and whatever else, and that didn't work it's out. There for one fifty and two hundred, but not three hundred. Who was that? You? I was there for episode 150, 200, but not 300. Um, 
so you'll be here for 400. Oh, yeah. Dave will finally be Hell here. Yeah. It's been a while. You weren't here for 200 either, huh? It was I was I just said that, dude. I was here for 150. Uh huh. I was here for 200. Yeah, 200 because I, I just moved into here. But I here. wasn't in at 300. That's when That's you right. asked a lot of. Well, you asked everyone. I didn't but ask me. you. Yeah, That's cool. I was I, I was like I'm not. At, well, yeah, you were not. A, you were on the naughty list at that time. Uh, well, you, you know, know I'm always on the naughty list. Everyone knows that. Even Santa. Yeah. Well, you were a bad but, boy. Um, the fact is, yeah. Well, that passed. Uh, but I'm here for 400. How fucked up is that? How not. fucked up were you that I didn't come to you? <laughs> like, I mean, like, think I, about I was that. fine with it. I no, was but I mean. Well. Pretty fuck. That's fucked up, man. You were being pretty bad if I didn't even come to you. Um, Look, if it was that bad, you would you would have gotten a tribunal, and you never did. So, <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, in fact, if it was that bad, it would have come out just like fucking Kanye West with the fucking mask on. Nobody can ever say okay. that I don't. You know what I mean? You have I'd... to surrender, Joe, before I launch my forces against you. Well, while I appreciate that, you can. You know what I mean? Come back and stuff like that. Of you know, course. Yeah. Being the one with the, I would say, you know, not trying to pat my dick on the back, but I mean, being the one with the bigger platform and reach, you know, you coming back is easier, but me coming back to you is probably harder for me, probably. Um, and I would, uh, I forget, I no, I, I like, I really do, I like people. No, I'm, I'm, I, no it's funny because it's like, true, because a lot of people... You know, I I can't blame you. I mean, like, you know, you can't really just grab a fire. You're going to kind of burn And it's hands, not because so. you said things that I don't agree with or because you, you know, it's not that. That, that stuff. Said that. It's, no, it's the, it's, it's the, fine. it's the um sort of the never ending just bashing that makes me think like, well, that seems sucky. You know, I understand uh, the being called out for some things here or there, though. I mean, that's not a problem. But like what I, my point in this though is that yeah, there's some people that thought you'd never be back here, so it's pretty. Uh, That's true, and that is true. But it's pretty. I was one of them. <laughs> Getty Lee, uh, well, yeah, Luke Rojas was really upset because he's a real human. Me, never say never. I mean, uh, you but, know, but even Luke, with Luke, punk, you're not an insane person. To to be like Dave and me, you have to be insane. Like Luke Ross, you're not an insane person. So like you're like this is like what is what's that's, going on? That's why Joe and I make well, such great dance well, well, partners. Is that we right. Joe? Joe, I wouldn't I wouldn't make any assumptions about my sanity. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the things the things I watch on uh, on Pornhub are pretty fucked oh, up. Lord. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh come on! Do they have gimp hats on like this guy? <laughs> no, see, Joe and I no, grew no, up they, in a different time. Joe, Joe and I head. grew up in a time where you had fucking oh, what was that? Oh man, Joe, you remember some of these websites that were so gory and such, and uh, showed some very questionable things. Oh yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, like lately in the eighties or. No, as in like on the, you know, in the late 90s, early 2000s on the internet, like um, Rotten.com, for example. Mm. And yeah, so like. Whoa, dude, I forgot all about Rotten.com. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, Luke, um, th we were exposed to things that were just wow. fucking. They, they really should have Naughty. been fucking censors at that point because we were scarred. Yeah, and if you, if you don't realize you were scarred, then you probably end up being a fucking. Yeah, uh, I know you guys. You guys had to see people getting their heads chopped off by the oh, cartel man. and shit. Yeah, but then again, then again, the these like that was so stupid of what you just said, kind of because it's like, oh, we had you don't understand. We were traumatized. You literally saw a video. Oh, cartel decapitation. Let me click on it. Let's see what's going mm -hmm. on. Right. You know, like <laughs> sorry you found. Sorry it turned out Yo, to be no, okay. You wanted it. Ron was be. different though. Look, look, you got fucking thirteen year olds jumping off a fucking two story building with a skateboard, thinking that somehow they're gonna land properly. Come on, uh. when we're youths, we're all fucking stupid. <laughs> Not that that's, stupid. that's funny. Uh, no, when I'm <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over that fucking clip, bro. <laughs> that's that's funny. That's, that's funny. That's, wait, wait, that's who's, funny. Who's... <laughs> that's extreme shaft. Extreme shaft. He's a mess. Go on down. Oh yeah, he's that's... a mess. You do. You you know you have me on the fucking call, right? Yeah, it's true. 
<laughs> but you know, if I clip if I you clip like <laughs> you going fucking the pompous, <laughs> the other one that you did the other day, you fucking clipped a great one, and I can't remember what it was, but it was just oh, fucking. Oh yeah. Oh, it was like you talking about molesting children or something. I remember he's like, Whoa. I, it was like also, there was a short little clip though. It was like you clipped together. It's like I suck children's dicks. It was like oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, it, what did I say in that one? It was just like uh, oh, you got to do the kids or something like that. Oh yeah, but, it was no. started with oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> You got to do the no, kids. There was one after that. That's, that's <laughs> funny. One after that, that Joe clipped it. That's like, funny. That was funny. Relax, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was absolutely yeah, fucking funny. <laughs> Dude, <he's>, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's, I don't know. My that, favorite. My favorite is when you go. Uh, despise me. <laughs> that's that's funny. That's that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nothing will nothing will change. Uh, you know the the uh, Ryback interview where uh, like that caught me so off guard. That laugh is genuine. People oh, yeah. might. <laughs> well, I lost it. I literally what, lost. It. I could not. What did he say more. again? What did he say again that made you break? <laughs> oh, that I think it was uh, that he uh, that he, either he raped Vince McMahon or that he got raped by Vince McMahon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I think I, I think I, I think I remember. No, I think I remember said, it was um. I, it was like I, I fucking grabbed him by his. I fucking of course I uh, broke I him, or I injured him, him or something. He was talking about punk. He was like, of course I hurt him. Have yes. You seen his fucking ears? Have you seen, have you seen his fucking ears? Yeah, and you're like, you started losing it. It, it. All it was all leading up to like him fucking raping punk and shit. <laughs> and it's like I just lost it. I could oh. not hold it anymore. And... I'm gonna leave this briefcase oh, right here. Allison! I'm gonna leave this briefcase right here. It's Allison Tuckwab! I can't wait to see what the Green Bay Packers are doing this week. Run, bitch. Run. That's, that's run, funny. Run, you fat that's, bitch. That's funny. Run, run. Run, you fat bitch. Run, run. Allison Tuckwab! Run, run. Run, you fat bitch. Run, you fucking fat bitch. Sith Negan with a three hundred dollar bomb. Don't you think I'm a fucking terrorist? Run, you fat bitch. Oh, run, you run, fat bitch. bitch. Run, run Forrest, fat ass, fucking Never run. Oh my God, the Unabomber. Do you see they raised the terror threat in America run, this week? Like, what's going on? Bitch. Oh, yeah, Biden is still Vince president. Ben Rogers has he got a busted up <laughs> finger and busted up ribs. It's time for John Lavera. He just wants to play because it's the Bears. Aaron Rodgers does. He ain't going to listen to no one. He wants to. So Aaron, see, I knew it was going to be Packers. Um, so Aaron Rodgers should sit on the bench because he's all fucked up. But so wait a minute. So they're really so they're going to play Aaron Rodgers. So Aaron Rodgers with busted ribs and shit. Is gonna play banged up against the the Bears? Is that what you're saying? Does anybody know about this? Like his injury? I didn't know hey, it was that bad. For you, Joe. What's that? Um, is reckless Jeff Black? <laughs> I would feel so much better knowing that when I uh, make my um, I racial jokes. So. But I don't um, think so. He might be, but I don't. Is he think a mix? So. I, I, Can I call him uh, no, half breed or something? I've never seen Reckless Jeff, I don't think, he's, in real he's life. He's talking poo-poo about me. He's saying, I hate Dave. <laughs> Ladies and don't gentlemen, the anymore. dictator. The dictator Sith Negan is here. Yes. Oh, and as yes. I, I saw Jersey yes, City Boys. Pompous. Yeah. Yes, Pompous. <laughs> Sith Negan where's, has dictated the show by keeping it going. Where Rojas go? He, he needs to be here to be like, yeah. I'm just trying to sound there. What did he say? Um, yes, uh, I, the Pompous. I need to I need to rehook my well I need to hook my hard drive back up I took it off and that's where all my clips are I'll install that hard drive in your computer and stop worrying about switching on and off yeah I do I gotta I gotta move all the sound files back dude I got so many porno is and yep all my Leah videos I gotta move them the porno computer is separate and it's off the grid um you know the only way to actually get information on there is a USB key well yeah okay. Yeah, well, that's the safest way if Listen, you want to keep your porn stash. The stuff uh, I have safe. of Leah would sell for money. Because I, yeah, I have, if that's what you yeah, like, to do, that's fine. Just Whether for what reason or not, I don't know. But it would just, you know, that's for a really low day. <laughs> Whip that out. 
Yeah, like it's been a bad day. Listen, I've got Leah <laughs> eating my balls. <laughs> like if you want to see, eating like, the cornhole. Eating my cornhole. Fifty <laughs> bucks. <laughs> Fifty bucks to see her eat my cornhole out. Sith Negan with a three hundred dollar bomb and Ghost from the Coast was bumped from the top donation spot because of Spit that. On Spit on it. We'll see if we can get Rojas back in here. I don't know what happened to him. Yeah. So anyway, back to the Indiana Jones trail. That's what we were doing before the bomb came in. Listen to this line by Indy real quick. This is weird. Listen to this. It's so hard to believe it. Oh. Here. What you believe? Oh, it's before that. I've seen things. Things I can't explain. Oh, oh. It's the skull it didn't it's make not sense. So much what you believe. See, so it's like he's seen the fucking he's seen the uh, the the ark of the covenant and he's sort of saying here he doesn't know if he believes in anything. But the thing is, Indy does believe in these things because in the first movie at the end, he tells uh what's her face to close her eyes. Because he knows that the spirits are coming out of the thing and they're going to kill everybody who looks at them. That's a pretty fucking magical thing that's yeah. going on there. So we it, can take a look at the third movie. Well, yeah, but that's we can, yes. Sorry. Go ahead. And, 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 you know, he understands that um, he might not necessarily understand it, but his father's faith in this stuff, including the grail makes him for example when he takes that step across the supposed barren uh cavern he 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 accepts his father's faith and he is able to accomplish what he you know set out to do right. so it's going in conflict with but he he's always in always in every movie he's been forced to address these things and say yes this is in conflict with what i understood but now i'm willing to accept this again uh with the the ark of the covenant for example initially he was doubtful but when he realized what it was he told marion keep your eyes closed right and he wouldn't do that if he didn't believe in it or know something yep. so in this trailer it is a little weird that he's like i've seen things and i don't believe in it but I can't explain it. It's like, well, it. I don't know. So I, that's a little strange. You know, a lot of people pointed that out in trailer reviews and on uh, articles and stuff like that. And I agreed with that immediately. I was like, yes, that doesn't, I don't really understand that. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit more. And I don't know, like, I, I'm not sure. I, the trailer actually gets me excited and I, I, I like it and the familiarity, but there. The, um, I don't know where they're going here. And like I said, I think there's going to be flashbacks to putting the puzzle together from back in the day versus current time. Because I see old ass Indiana Jones kind of kicking ass as a fucking old man. Yeah, but I but also see him young, de-aged fighting people. But they're talking about uh, how uh, his god daughter is going to Ugh. take up his mantle. Why can't you just let the series die? Why can't you just like the the uh, the was it the Crystal Skull right. uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Well, they couldn't get um, Shia LaBeouf to just be like. I mean, they couldn't because it actually nuts. reminds me. They're also planning on making a new Indiana Jones series on TV, but yes. it's not even going to feature Indiana Jones. It's going to feature some sort of female. Yes, you are correct. Um, but the thing is, though, Ugh. why can't we see Indy go off into the sunset? appropriately and and not have to deal with like again the crystal skull bullshit they could have done a, a a version that was right after the war which was basically what they're doing now but this is a substantial time later so you know yeah you face against the commies because they're the fucking enemies or even better you go against the nazis that actually escaped germany flew to argentina brazil even antarctica do a story there do that. Well, I thought they that were. Also, I thought they were doing Operation Paperclip or something in this one, but I guess not. Well, they may be. They may be because it, you know Lucas does like to pl throw in a lot of stuff that is real. Uh, so, like the whole idea of like, oh, we're putting the Ark in the the Pentagon in these f guys. It's real. Well, that shit know, is real. Like, the aliens thing didn't bother me because, like, listen, the Ark of the Covenant, and then they went to the extreme with it you know what i mean or not yeah, to the, the extreme to the next places level in the in the, uh, in the pentagon these storage places where they store basically unknown stuff this is real this is already proven 
And you've got a lot of shows, even like the X Files, which I was rewatching the other day, that sort of point to this as well. Is that yeah, there are places in government where they store this stuff. It could be an alien body, it could be a fucking ancient relic. But these things exist, and these people know it. These are hints that are being dropped as well. And I don't. Yeah. It's a good point. And the and the thing is, here's the woman that's gonna probably take over the whole thing. So we could be seeing less of her in the trailer because they God. know what they're doing. But then it's gonna be a bait and switch in the movie where she's really the thing, and it's like she saves him. She saves him because uh, he's the bumbling, the old man, white man. Why is it always man. that? Why is it always always? It's always an old male legend who is now not as good being led around by a young female who's even yeah, more yeah, brilliant. This whole yeah. idea that women can beat up like five men it happens, and like it, be all cool and like ninja-like. It happens uh, in sorry, Star Trek. One man Dave. grabs you from behind, the other one fucking beats you to a pulp, and then they have your way, in, their in, way with In you. Star so, Wars, Mark, no, Mark Hamill is handled by Daisy Ridley. In Star Trek, Picard... Fondled. Fondled. In Star Trek Picard, Picard is led around by women, like, and he's this old daughtery man, like, like, ooh. and now Indiana Jones is old, and he's got some young girl who's smarter than it. it's all, every fucking Matrix. every movie. The well, is that what happens really? Well, like the, every fucking the, commercial the, that you see is that you've got the bumbling uh, white man, like, oh, I don't yes. know what to do, and then like, you know, it's like the woman comes in, it's like, oh. Stupid husband. That's why All they gotta do is subscribe for fucking insurance. It's so easy. You're such an idiot. That's oh, why they voted you're for white him. wife. Oh. They voted for Joe Biden for that reason because he's an old man being led around by a woman. Same thing. Like Kamala. Oh, uh, go open a pickle jar, women. That's that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> that's, hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's funny. That clip is great. <laughs> Donation coming in from Allison Tukwa. Ooh, Allison Tuckwab sitting us with another one. I haven't seen it hit yet. Sports. I'll tell. I'll, well, obviously everyone sees that. She uh, likes. Oh, I'm not it on doesn't the page. exist until it. it she yeah, likes. Until it plays. She likes sweaty men. Dave is spoiling the fucking donations for me. I'm God damn. Right no, I'm here. fucking. I'm gonna leave face. this briefcase right uh, here. Here it comes. I'm, I'm not excited. Oh wow, a donation. Right oh wow, how did I'm Dave spoil this? Right <laughs> uh, 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 I'm gonna leave this briefcase right Allison here. Allison Tuckwab is run, coming in again. Run, run you fat that's, bitch. That's funny. Run, 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 that's, run you that's fat funny. bitch. Run, 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 you fat she bitch. You got a cigarette, right? Run, 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 you fat bitch. Let them throw it down. She got that cigarette in her hand, yeah. looking all hammy. I'm a smoker. I'm a smoker, and the fact is, they cost way too much these days. And certainly, you're not going to throw it down. Yep. <laughs> you could be running from the well, Twin Towers fact. collapsing, strangely enough. Oh, oh, come on. But uh, <laughs> you'd be holding that smoke. I'm going to pump. Maybe, maybe Leah will stop smoking. Yeah, play Jordan Love over Aaron Rodgers. At least we can try and win the games. We won't make the playoffs, but at least go out with dignity and go out with pride. Well, at least, Allison, that you can start your other quarterbacks and start figuring out what you might have in case, yeah, in case, you know, in case Aaron Rodgers isn't back next year or, you know, he gets hurt. You know, start getting the young guys out there to mess around and see what you got. I would definitely use it as a training grounds at this point for the Green Bay Packers. So I think you're right. And you're smarter than the fucking goddamn coaches at this point. 2023 coach. <laughs> imagine, Allison Tuckwall. Imagine Allison on the sidelines smacking guys in the ass and telling them to get out there. <laughs> Beating mm -hmm. the shit out of them. It's like, I told you to play this. Play harder, you cocksuckers. <laughs> where's, by the way, where's Dante? <laughs> oh my God, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, man. But yeah, Indiana Jones 5 trailer, I have mixed feelings. So Over do I. Overall, Very it makes me warm-hearted, but I know that I'm worried. Like you know, no, I, I, mean? want, I want to see the Kanye West G.I. Joe movie. Yes, please. Kanye West and G.I. Joe. Let's make it happen. He, he, he's the, the, the logical Cobra Command. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know what? At this point, you know what? At this point, I've got no problems with race swapping. This is yes. this is my Cobra Commander now. Yeah, you could ra seriously like you could this. Uh, he's got me convinced. You could race swap this in a heartbeat. I got it. I'm into it. I get it. Like where's oh man, this? Yeah, like I said, he's my spirit animal. 
Yep. Like let's hear, that clip that you played. He's my spirit. Let's dad. hear a little bit this more from Kanye. Showing so much chutzpah. I'm a Nazi, Ari Emanuel. Isn't chutzpah. that what it said? It said, say it loud. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. And then crack came. Stop the trafficking. <laughs> Instagram is sex trafficking. And I'm probably the lowest <laughs> IQ like here that. of anyone speaking. Oh, Adam, you I've can got. Please clip that. I'm probably the lowest IQ here speaking. <laughs> I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, uh, Alex, what we did is we brought Netanyahu with us. Ah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, this is, I'm in the twilight zone right now. Netanyahu, I'm in the twilight. what do you have to say? It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet me. <laughs> Where where can I get this show on Netflix? Because I would watch this yeah, right? all day long. The fucking Kanye West fucking anything goes twenty minute show. Like I would. We're gonna get the uh, the rise and fall of Kanye just like uh, <laughs> WWE did with fucking <laughs> bro. Motherfucker Lord, brought Lord. a net and oh my god. And, and, and what, I don't. I still don't understand the YooHoo <laughs> thing. I don't know if he drank anything on the air, but he had the you who. I wish he just bashed someone in the head with it for no reason on the show for some reason. Just you who stock like dropped like five percent. <laughs> yeah, the, the, to me that should have <laughs> should have fucking like exploded. And the executives at yeah at you who are just like, oh my god, no, no. They're <laughs> yeah. probably gonna try to sue. They're probably gonna try to sue like Alex Jones over this. I get seriously. Like they they're gonna could. be like they probably could they could yes they that's that's why people tape up drinks and stuff on shows because you're he not has no control mm. over that <laughs> I'm just saying like I don't you don't know if it won't win but I'm just saying like I yeah, mean bro dude the you who people no, the, there's not no such thing as bad publicity you who should be <laughs> like yo man this is fucking this shit <laughs> <laughs> man imagine if oh look at this. Okay. I had no idea your voice is gonna sound like that, Netanyahu. Because that's the last time you hear from me. Do you, you guys realize that the British <laughs> government the created word. Hitler? This is the voice of Netanyahu. I'm leaving for now until until it's another meeting, and then I'm gonna say something. The real Nick, change. I got a question. Dude, he's acting like Dude. Tommy when Tommy does the fucking also, Elmo voice. Well, that that is true, but also Netanyahu <laughs> has actually been convicted of fraud. So he actually, it's hilarious. The Israeli political system is bullshit because you've got a lot of fucking uh, That's funny. alliances and such. <laughs> it's hilarious, yeah. Shaft. So shut the fuck up. But uh, <laughs> the bottom line is that uh, Netanyahu, convicted of crimes, gets reelected. It's right. corrupt as fuck. So you know what? In this point, but Kanye all but all Kanye is doing is saying is things. Making a good point. He's saying Bob things. Mix it up with the shit, and then people think, "Oh, it's all crazy." No, he's just mixing up the truth with a lot of stuff that is an untruth. And part of what he's trying to say, and obviously we don't agree with Kanye West, but hear what he said. But what hey, he's I speak for myself. I listen. I don't agree with him. But what he's saying yeah. here is. He's, yeah, try I got the balls to speak he's trying to say, listen, this guy's an actual fucking like war criminal and you all love yep. this. But yep. I just say things and I'm this evil person who's going to be can't. You know what I mean? Like, that's his point that his words, hateful or not or whatever they are. He's, he's got trying more to problems. fucking he's he's trying to make a point. But the problem is he is ignorant. So when he says, I love Hitler, he is talking about stuff that he is not really aware of when it comes to his political well, he says ideals. he doesn't think the holocaust it's... happened and while i agree that there's some like fucking you know inflated numbers maybe or whatever it happened you know what i mean like we know all these things happen but he's yeah, saying but, it didn't but, happen at all but, but that's the thing though this is where it gets mixed in like fantasy gets mixed with, with reality is that they're it's so foggy, and we know for a fact that things have been purposely mixed up to uh, obfuscate the truth. Is And this is where it goes back to history is written by the winners, which means that the bad guys could have won, but they write history, which means that you're going to believe whatever they tell you to believe. So there's yeah. some sort of truth here, and it's mixed up with a lot of convolution. So if you can get through this, and determine, and if you look into this, um, there were extermination camps, but there were also labor camps. Simple places, just like, okay, you're a prisoner of war, you're going to work, and you're going to build these things or do this stuff. It wasn't, you know, you're all dead sort of thing. So it's mixed up, and the problem is that because Kanye is quite, or sorry, yay, 
Uh, he got mad at um, what's his name, Owen uh, Owen Schroyer on the show the other day when he's like, "I changed my name, sir. I changed my name." Okay, yay. Um, he's mixing up a lot of truth with a lot <laughs> of untruths, and he doesn't know what he's talking about when it comes to the context of history. And uh, you know, it's it, this is the problem because this is now a distraction. You're going to have a lot of people on the left saying, "Oh, look, people on the right are just automatic Nazis." Well, Kanye's never really been right wing. He's been fairly central. Right. Uh, and yet now he's saying this stuff. That doesn't automatically make him right because, you know, again, Nazi is national socialist, hence socialist. So that is on the left. But, you know, autocracy, um, that sort of thing, it, 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 it could be right wing. It could be like the Saudis conservative right wing autocracy control from the government or it could be a fucking you know socialist government like the soviet union <laughs> that doesn't change the fact that you know you can have a <clears throat> dictatorship on either side the problem is he's saying things it's like the, it's hard because like there's some things that he's saying that i don't agree with but there's some he things in the well but it's some he, things the that he's saying that he that's says like, things that wow, are true true yeah. but things that are false so yeah. no matter what anybody, uh, it's all like, false. No though. matter what yeah. he says, it po everything that he says is now poisoned yes. because he said one thing, Duncan and this Gino? is the problem with a lot of people is they're not I willing do. to fucking go name? into this. Duncanino, oh. it's a whole new yep. game. Oh, shit. oh Jersey City boys. I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. I am coming for Seth. Wait a minute, you're he's, are you coming to coming. like? Are you coming to like get him in a donation showdown, or are you coming to get him? like, oh, coming for him? Like, are you like jerking off to him? Well, I'm confused because this could be two different things, uh, Jersey City. This is fucking weird. Just saying, um, but we'll figure it out tomorrow night. I'll monetize this. Whether you're talking about jerking off to him or actually trying to come at him in a donate. And now, if you're actually coming for Sith. In donations, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than $10 to come after Seth. Exactly. Because he dropped the $300 bomb, and that's, I mean, you're, I guess, keep 20 bucks. Yeah, those, those are rookie numbers there, Jersey City. And you've donated twice under Super Chat, so that takes 50% of the money away because 20% for taxes and 30% for Google. So Sith is kicking your ass right now. I love you, though, Jersey. Thank you for the $10, bro. I mean, listen, I'm going to. This is gonna help me get gas and coffee, but that's that's hey. funny. That's <laughs> that's, that's funny. It's funny that you're coming for Sith, uh, Jersey. You fucking weird mod fuck. Um, I appreciate it, Jersey. Thank you. Uh, donate to the show if you guys want to. We've already gone later than I expected because fuck it, we're having, I'm having a good time. There's only three of us here, and we're having a great old time. Yep, yeah. and we lost. Exactly. Um, what is it possible we have a where where where? Leah's asking party. me, you want a party? <laughs> let's go. I mean, damn it. Let's go, man. Listen, I'm ready. Oh, let's, let's hear some more from Kanye and, and Alex. Uh, oh, God, the, there's more. Go. Question. If I say something that's provocative towards the Mossad, is that misogynistic? Mas Hold on. Let's <laughs> <hear> from... <laughs> nice. I that. Hey, like hey, that. I'm the head of the Mossad. I'm going to kill you and take the children away from you. Thanks a lot, Netton. Back to you, Alex. Was that Michael Jackson? Alex. But we're going to yeah. call him. No, but he, I think it was an Elmo. I think. He kept doing an Elmo. Yeah, he's doing Elmo. And I'm I'm betting that. Is he taking the super male vitality? Is that where this is all? Is that like. Is okay, that why? I'll say this. I'll say this. This guy is pulling an Alex Sean right now. Okay. So what is, what is he doing? He's talking about the Mossad. <laughs> now, the Mossad were well involved with Jeffrey Epstein. And he's doing it through uh, a character. So it's okay. These these people are the ones that, and I wish Awandi was here. Awandi, I wish Awandi was Arawa dead. Um, these are the people that have sent uh, uh, assassins throughout the Middle East and assassinated nuclear um, uh, scientists. And again, Iran might just want to make a peaceful, uh, you know, nuclear program. Personally, I kind of doubt that, but regardless, yeah. is that you send out assassins and you start this shit? There's a problem. Who does that? Mossad. Um, and, uh, well, Kanye had the guts to call that shit out. Um, gotta give him that because these people are known to fucking assassinate people, make it look like a fucking accident. Yeah. And that's the thing is again, like it's weird. He says Kanye here, he says a lot of things that are true and that are like, it's kind of amazing how he's making a play on it and he's comparing them. 
But then, like you said, he says these crazy, ignorant, weird things that seem like just actual. Jones does it too. Jones does that sort of performance art as well. Like, oh, you know, accents and fucking impressions and all that. Yeah. Kanye's sort of trying to do that, but he's not done doing it in the right way where it's, you know, there's the ambiguity mm. that's caused as opposed to the satire that obviously is evident with Jones creates the sort of impression that does this guy is this guy's head on straight is this guy really know what's going on here so you know it's right i think to to wonder you know what's going on with kanye but and this is what's so, so unfortunate is that he said so much truth in that interview but he said so many things that also either weren't articulated properly or were just plainly false where now just people just say, okay, whatever he said on that show, even if there was truth, I'm just going to throw it out. Grid, right. Grid brings up a good point that a lot of people said, did he even show his face here? They think it's not really Kanye. But, I mean, Kanye has go on, gone on similar shows the last couple of days and shown his face and said type the same type of thing. So this yeah, is I'm just sure, him. I'm sure it was somebody under the, the mask that was totally different, right? It's, yeah. it's, it just sounded like Kanye. Yeah, it just sounds yeah. like Kanye, but also Kanye was on multiple shows this week acting kind of crazy. But when he went on Alex Jones' show, he really put the performance on because he knew, hey, I'm on the wackiest one of all. Like, let's really, you know, it's got to be. It he knows what he's doing. Genius because this was the opportunity to do this. Again, after Prince, for example, had his fucking problems with the uh, uh, music company that he was working with, he changed his name to the artist formerly known as Prince. Right. And he fucked with them because he wasn't going to deal with their shit. This is the same thing, in my opinion. This guy knows what he's doing. And some Are you sure, though, there is, really an argument that he's, that he, there is an argument that he, know, that he knows what he's doing, but there's also an argument that he's out of his goddamn mind, right? But can it be both? Can, it could can, be. It when, could be. No, but when you reach, I've said this earlier, when you reach a level of genius, it, it, this is already statistically proven, is that when you reach a certain level of genius, some of your actions uh, are viewed as insane. And, you know, the, it's not fully understood the logic behind your decision. So just because some people might think mm -hmm. what he's doing is insane doesn't mean that there's no uh, methodical thought put behind it. And knowing fully well what's going to come. Because we know, let's just straight up be honest, we know that he knows that when he went on to the show and did this stuff, he was going to create a reaction. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was a performance like he knew. And this is the mo one of the most talked about things yesterday anywhere. Yes. Like, dude, J Alex Jones has got to be it was jerking everywhere. off. Everywhere. This is the first time in a long time where Infowars got pushed so much mm -hmm. that there was people that were checking it out, thinking and, that it was just fucking gone years ago. And all the liberal media too are a bunch of hypocrites because they were like, "Don't show this guy. Don't talk about him anywhere." They were playing his clip all day talking about him. Basically, it has the liberal 3. media is three million, million views right now. Oh my What's god, that? man! Yeah, they're dude. Three point three million. Getty Lee just said. Wow. No, but, I'm, I, but there's, there's millions the, the all over the internet. Thing. This is the most insulting thing that people should understand, even if they disagree with me, is that these people think you're so fucking stupid that you shouldn't even check it out and think for yourself and make up your mind. Yeah, you know what? Kanye is fucking insane. Uh, okay, great. But they don't want you to even to tune in in the first place to make up your own mm -hmm. mind. They want to tell you how to think, but you can't think for yourself. Exactly. Let's hear more of it. What you want, man? Hey, yay, right after this, I'm going to say you're crazy. I'm going to take your, your family away from you. We're not done with you yet. You can. Does he watch the Joe Cronin show? I mean. <laughs> not cause free thought. We have to control the history books. We have to control the banks. And we have to go and kill people. Also. <laughs> Look at Alex Jones. And we have to go and kill people. Like, this is like you could be Alex saying this. We're in the pedophilia. Yeah. Jerry, it's hey, hey, hey. This, uh, this is Ned. This is insane. You are an insane person. Please exactly. give him a TV with show. The, with this going on, you don't have to say anything. Alex is just sitting yep. back and just watching. This is There's gold. a point where he just gives up. You can see it yeah. on his face. Yeah. He's like, yep, yeah. I can't do Let's anything go. more. This is gold. How could you say something? It's okay that I've practiced Chinese water torture on myself. Man, you don't want to say that. <laughs> that is Bro. a great line. I remember hearing that. <laughs> 
I'm, Maybe Hitler. I'm, <laughs> na I'm Nat and Yahoo. <laughs> that's, that's funny. I ain't totally. never had a supermodel. Yeah, could tell. So, him on NPR and him on 60 Minutes saying the best time of his life was rounding up and killing Jews. Yay, never killed any Jews. I, I like Hitler. I, I don't like Hitler. <laughs> And I know you're trying to be shocking with that. I'm not trying to be shocking. I, I like Hitler. I do not. I, the, uh, the Holocaust is not what happened. Let's look at the facts of that. And Hitler has a lot of redeeming qualities. So tell us, you love, think, we you think Hitler was the good guy in World War II? I think God says man should not kill. We should not have wars, period. None of us should be killing anybody. Ukraine and the streets of Chicago, all violence should stop. And we should all. That that Hitler, that question, this response might be the biggest yes, but I've ever heard. Like It's like he asked one thing and it goes to a totally different tangent. Like, and that's at that that's point, it's like Alex was you. like, it's like, why even ask him questions? Because he's not like, what? When none of us should be killing anybody, Ukraine and the streets of Chicago, all violence should stop and we should all serve Christ. That's what I feel. I mean, Jesus that Christ. sees that That's that part Chicago and Ukraine. I'm sure that they're very related. I mean, you could probably admit I agree with that. Probably what he just said. Like, yeah, we all serve like we all we don't have to serve Christ, but I mean, we all be good is what he's trying to say. But. You know, and that's why he's trying to say he doesn't hate anybody because he doesn't want to hate anybody. But it's not just that. It's that he said, like, what did he say? It was something specific about Hitler. Uh, he said, like Hitler. He, he just doesn't want to. He, I think he's just, like you said, trying to say he's not going to hate anybody. If somebody does something evil and terrible, he's still not going to hate them because he's going to let God judge that or something he, like that. He wants, he, it seems to me like he wants to embody that that sort of walk uh you know of jesus where it's just mm. like you know you can i could be t you know carrying my cross for my crucifixion you can whip me and all that throw all this shit at me but i'll i'll still love you yeah because you know i'm doing this for a greater good but his yeah. way to articulate things is so bad <laughs> uh, if even if this you, is what he means he needs you so Dave. All, he needs you he to work to with all him. no matter what you did in life right so no matter like, what a he, rapist sexual murder he he still loves them see that's what no alex should have asked him then he should have said well how about and he should have started naming like black murderers to see if yeah, he would like, not like them or if it's just yeah, jewish yeah, people he'd no figure. matter what but, but yay was shutting him done. down every time he was like no no, no let me talk you know <laughs> dude <laughs> alex jones is like mystified He's like, yeah. what the fuck how are we going on? How can on? you? How can you? Let's go with back the to Bible, the Bible. Hand on the Bible saying it with your black man. <laughs> He's on. got the fucking Bible there, the fly swatter yeah. or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, could you not oh, yeah. table, especially Hitler? This um, is the future president you're talking to right now. So I love Jewish people, but I also love Nazis. Germans had a really cool leader at one time. Love you, love you, love you. There's a lot of... See, he loves Jewish people. How come that gets ignored? So he's just, you know, he loves everybody. But he loves Nazis, bro. But he loves Nazis, so everything else is deleted because he said that. So exactly. look, look, look at Alex Jones. He can't love that. everyone. He can't <laughs> say, you know what, because basically this is what he's trying to say. Fuck your system. I'm going to love everybody. That's what he's trying to say, and he's failing. He's failing, right. but he's basically saying, you know what? You're trying to force me to love some, hate another, believe a narrative, not believe another. You know what? Fuck your fucking hypocrisy and your fucking hologram <laughs> reality. You know what? I'm going to love everybody yeah. and see where that turns out. And this is what it appears that he's trying to do. Yes. He's not very um, articulate, as we have seen. Um, so he can't, right. I think, explain this properly, but that doesn't right. mean that he isn't doing this from a source of trying to say, you know what, I recognize that I'm in a no-win Kobayashi Maru scenario, and I, like Captain Kirk, don't believe in that shit, so I'm not going to play that game. Yep, I, it's, it's, I really what it is. He's trying to do the right thing. He doesn't realize, though, the... Per What's the the optics? Is Words the, are bad. He just can't fucking uh, you know verbalize. But even Al and even and even Alex is like, oh boy. Like, and if you've befuddled Alex, I mean, things that I love True. about Hitler. Well, I think Hitler did target and kill some people. No, I think you know. I think Obama he killed, killed Palestinians. Oh, this, oh my god! This is, oh my god! This is really funny, dude. Listen to this. This killed me, dude. I almost fucking passed out when I heard this earlier. Listen to this, guys. I'm fucking gonna die. Well, I think Hitler did target and kill some people. No, I think you know. I think Obama killed. 
Palestinians. You're <laughs> He's oh not wrong. He's That's not the wrong. Problem. That's why it's he's funny. He's sprinkling, yeah. he's sprinkling truth amongst all this shit, and he's right. But it's going to be all you know, thrown out because, oh, the, he's now a white black supremacist this or is, black white supremacist. Or... This is words from a man that doesn't give a fuck. That's on top. He's on, he, he's a billionaire. He doesn't give a fuck. No, so not that's anymore. why it's amplified. Not anymore. It's a, no. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's like, yeah. I love it. He nails him with it like yeah. this shit. Wait, I mean, dude, that is a. It's like Alex Jones is. It's like seeing Alex. Like someone would be like. That's what I'm saying. That's me, why everyone's bad. Yeah, this Alex is like Jones the Pierce, acting like that. This is the Pierce Morgan interview with Alex, where he's where he's like, "Well, how about this?" And then I was like, "How about Bill Clinton killed?" You know, like <laughs> like the same. It's like. It's like well, I think you know, I think the you know Hitler did kill a bunch of people. Well, I think Obama killed a bunch of people. It's like, all right, I agree with you, but like, I mean, I think Hitler killed more. And what's the like, what do you? Well, I think Hitler did target and kill some people. No, I think you know. I think Obama killed Palestinians. <laughs> you're, you're you're this is a new look for you. Oh no, I've been wearing a mask for a while. Ah, uh. yeah. Hey guys, could you not talk in the back? I'm like really hypersensitive to sound. If you guys want to talk, just go in the other room, please. Shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, shut up. Shut up. I'm throwing the tablets right now. He's autistic. Shut up. Instagram is about prostitution. So everyone, mm -hmm. shut up. No one cares. Shut up. No one cares. Jesus is king. Shut up. It's done. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut <laughs> up. Go home to your scared little bins and your scared little town home and your scared little movie contracts and shut up. Don't talk to me about nothing, bro. Well, what do you think? There's, there's one place in the Bible where it says God sees sin differently. And there's another God. place where it says, uh, you know, let me get out my phone. I can like really pull up the exact thing it says in the Bible. No, no, I agree with let what you just said. Let me stop you. Because like, like, Dave Chappelle. Alex, 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 Alex go ahead, go ahead. let me channel. All right, let go me ahead. Channel. If, if I say, uh, now I forgot what I had to say. Let me meditate. Let me get into a place. I'm right. sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> love yeah. you, brother. Uh, Jesus is king. Um, I love yeah, Hitler. Boy. Anybody who looks at the <laughs> Wait, no way. Way. <laughs> Because Dave I'm, Chappelle, I'm, 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 Alex, Alex, go ahead, go ahead. let me channel. All right, let go me ahead. Channel. If if I say, uh, now I forgot what I had to say. Let me meditate. Let me get into a place. I'm right sorry. Here. Go ahead. Love you, brother. Uh, Jesus is king. Um, I love Hitler. Anybody who <laughs> looks at <laughs> pornography. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no dude, way. Dude, this is better than Raw. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Like, dude, what better than Raw? That's how like you, better than WrestleMania for the last five years. <laughs> how, how can you tune into Monday Night like Raw? Review, so. What was that? Way, way better than a SmackDown review, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, how can you turn into Smack Raw after down. seeing this? Like, you're like, listen. What? I just saw I pledge allegiance to uh, Kanye West. I wonder or, sorry, if Alex West, sees himself because, uh, in me. I don't think I don't. I think Alex might see a little bit of himself in Ye in the way, but I don't think he sees. I don't think he believes in a lot of the stuff. No, like, not like that. that. Yeah, Drew Bar. Thank you, Drew Bar. One hundred. How you doing, Drew Bar? So thank called you. Called out this Valencia company. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff that he says that's true. Like this Valencia company has been shown to be utilizing B BSDM or BDSM, whatever. Um, shit in their advertisement with kids, mm. and it's not being talked about. There was one one um, journalist who was doing a sort of roundtable. Um, his coworkers didn't want to say shit, and he was getting so much crap through his earphone that he just pulled it out and kept talking and just laid out how this story needs to be talked about, and nobody's talking about it. Again, when are we going to see people who were on that uh, list of uh, pedophiles that uh, right. Ghislaine Maxwell uh, facilitated? When are we going to see them be charged? You'd think it'd be this? pretty important to start figuring out who was diddling the kids, right? You'd think, but then apparently now they're concentrating on $600 Venmo transactions, right? Because, yeah. you know, FTX there, they embezzled billions which then went back through Ukraine and then through uh, Democrat donators. But, uh, you know, uh, somebody donates to Joe, sends $600 on Venmo, and uh, now they got to report it to the IRS. You see what's happening? Right. This wasn't it would, what Biden proposed and put through law. It wasn't to attack the billionaires. Mm -hmm. It was to attack the little people.
Yep, it's always to somehow to go after all you guys, and the pedophiles get away, and somebody's a yeah, fall, and there's a fall guy. There's always a fall guy. The, pet, the, the criminals get yeah. away. <laughs> I am. I want to know how to swim to that Keep island. Working. Yeah, and now I can. Uh, I can go to arcades, and there's kids around me, and I can record it, and wire our features it on his channel. <laughs> oh yeah. no! You know what I want to do? I want to lick a ball sack of a. Of a little tiny. Oh, all right. Let's get, let's not put oh, you God. on the air. Yeah. Um. So one time I was like changing my cousin's diaper, and um, I got a. All right. I got, all right. I got a whiff. We got. I got a whiff. Let's get you out of here. All right. I got. I that's, got hard. That's yeah. that's funny. All right, that's not funny, extreme guy. Yeah. Yo, it's not funny, man. Yeah, that's the fucking. Great. But uh, you know, that's a little too far for the bizarre, even this show. Bizarre, bizarre. It's a form of a uh, of a pedophile, also. God does view sin differently, yeah, yep. and that he prescribed he he proscribed. He proscribed a different punishment. But hey, guess what, Elon? I got a Twitter. And today I'm going to have Nick and Alex tweet from my account. You like that, Ari Emanuel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about free speech. A Christian can stand next to anyone. We can go visit R. Kelly in prison. We can go talk to Harvey Weinstein. That's what Jesus did. Yes. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler also. This guy that <laughs> my invented back. highways, invented oh the very God. microphone that I use as a musician. You can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good, and I'm done with that. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. Hitler was born Christian. And, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs that shut people down to a lot of really bad things. But they did good things, too. We're going to stop dissing the Nazis all the time. The Jewish <laughs> media has... <laughs> Yo. It reminds me of Jesse, like when Jesse has one of his like yeah. ma maniacal freakouts. I wish Jesse was here. So yeah. I wish fucking well, Jesse was here. He might be under that black mask right there. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> he's probably... No, but, but hold on. <laughs> there is a yeah. point that he's... Okay, he, no, I, guess, I get it, yeah. People need to understand that he is just confused on how to use words. But he's making a point here, if he was able to explain it properly, is that... If you start calling everyone a Nazi, and people have been saying this for fucking years, if you start calling everyone a Nazi, it sort of diminishes. That's that true. I don't think I heard that point from him, but that is true. But he's it's the thing is though he can't fucking put it forward properly. You, you, we already saw his mental deficiencies and right. explaining things. But the point is that what he's trying to say, which is what people have said for years, is that if you start to say everyone's Hitler. That everyone's a Nazi. That you start to, it loses its gravity. It loses its weight. So if if you know if you somebody if you know if if it wasn't overused and you say okay you're a Nazi, then it would mean something. You know it would actually convey some weight to their actions. If you start to call everyone a Nazi. Everyone's Hitler. At that at, at point, people get desensitized. And it really doesn't matter anymore. It's just like saying you're a faggot. You're, and sorry to say that, but I'm trying to make a point here is that, you know, you're this, you're that, you're whatever. It's just like, but at that point, it doesn't have the gravitas that it had before. It, it no longer carries the weight. So, well, to it, that it, simple sort of single insult. person, it does because they just whip it around everywhere. But to the, the uh, overall group, it loses its weight, like you're saying, right? Exactly. It it doesn't. It no longer holds the weight. If you really want to say, okay, well, this person's a dangerous individual. They have these political ideals. They have these beliefs. They have these racial constructs. Whatever. This is somebody that should be classified as so and so. But if you start to say everyone that you know thinks differently than you, because that's really what it is, is a Nazi, well, then it could be Joe, a centralist claims to be independent uh me somebody who leans towards the right but has certain socialist views as well uh anybody you could start to claim everyone that disagrees with you is a nazi 
and then it no longer holds any weight. It has no value and no relation to my political leanings or even Joe's political leanings. It just, it now becomes worthless. Crazy also, Blade, um, how you doing? Give me my wrench back so I can spank um, <clears throat> Reckless Jeff there in the chat because he doesn't seem to understand things. Hmm. And uh, his skin looks a little dark, so I think he should be whipped. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Your people oh. ripped hearts out of bodies. You would know my how to hurt people. people. Yeah, your people. Yeah, Argentina. You know the Mayans. It's all mixed in, isn't it? Well, that that sounds uh, very um, Dave Rose-ish. Dave Rose ish. So I will accept that, there despite you go. it being totally wrong. That's, that's why it's so. Funny. That's funny. It's hilarious, chat. <laughs> let's go to the let's go to the other clip. And uh, it's cat, not lady. look like a fucking inflated whore. <laughs> and no uh, it's really not lady. look like a fucking inflated whore. <laughs> inflated whore is also now uh, got to be one of my favorite uh, favorite takes ever. Inflated whore. Whore. How about this clip it's right like here? Bowls. It's like you saw the donation, right? You still uh, that uh, clip? You have saying bowls. Bo uh, Yankee Doodles little balls. Yeah. <laughs> Yankee yeah. Doodles little balls. Yankee Doodles little balls. Now listen to this. Indiana Jones 5, the trailer. We talked about it earlier, and uh, I'm optimistic. I hope so. Bit. I really do. Now I'm trying to play a clip, but the fucking my computer's freezing. So oh, well, well, it does that. Uh, I will say that uh, this is uh, one of the franchises that I loved, you know, a lot. Uh, you know, even uh, Temple of Doom, because they wanted to showcase it throughout the world, and they couldn't really feature the Nazi flag. Um, it wasn't bad. You know, you had short round. Um, but you know, the, the third one also great, but there was so much potential. Uh, they had the, you know, adventures of young Indiana Jones back in the day. I don't know if everyone watched that. I think it was on Fox uh, as a TV show. I think I read those uh, books, but I didn't. I they also a had the, a series of books. Yes. And, um, there's so much more to the mythos of Indiana Jones and, I'll give uh, George Lucas credit on this, is that he allowed that franchise to actually build on its own, just like he did with Star Wars. It's he hired people to, uh, you know, write certain stories and such and uh, allow that to be part of canon. So um, I think, um, you know, it was just like Willow, although the new Willow apparently is super woke. But, oh, no, uh, yeah. really? Uh, you Willow? haven't heard? No, I haven't heard yet. I haven't paid attention yet. Yeah, apparently, um, well, um, the primary uh, romantic, and again, I don't know why they need to do this every time, but the, the romantic angle of the show is a lesbian situation. And it's just like, but why can't we just have a show where there's no sexual stuff? I don't know what you're anymore. talking about. I'm down with the lesbian action. It, yes, but it's it's going to be woke lesbian action so it's not going to be erotic mm. no scissoring you know right. everyone loves it but um yeah it's just it, but the the biggest problem is the fact that the guy that's running the show is like saying oh i thought this was just a natural evolution of the show nobody wants to see that they want to see fucking willow do his magic and shit and fucking help Laura Denon. yeah i i and that's all we wanted to see because dude that show was a hidden gem back in the day well, it's a movie, but well, it, but it's a show now. I mean, but it's it was it was a hidden gem, the movie. But it, now it's a regular show that they're gonna do what every week or every one of fucking Val Kimmer's best fucking roles as Mad Mortigan. Was it? It was nineteen eighty seven. Am I wrong? I possibly. Let You're me gonna see. have to look that up. I'm like. I'm not going to look it up, but uh, either way, that Val Kilmer played a great role there, Matt Mortigan, and... Uh, 1988, just... off by a year. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 87 sounded a little odd, but regardless, um, it it lives... Even if you watch it today, it's a fuck... It stands up. Even the limited... Uh, and they had what... Um, what was... <clears throat> what's, you're the film guy. You know this stuff. You raised but, a uh, piece of shit. Okay. Ooh. Donnie M, 
36 months in a row as a member, Donnie M. Holy shit. Anybody yeah. going to go see Cocaine it's Bear? Dude, what's Cocaine Bear the movie? Donnie M brought well, that up. Okay, okay. Um, I guess I'm going to skip over my uh, my previous statement. Cocaine Bear is based on a true story. What? Uh, the CIA, obviously, importing uh, drugs and specifically mm -hmm. cocaine to America. So, a bunch of cocaine dropped into the wilderness, and this grizzly ended up starting to consume this stuff. <laughs> this you, thing oh went God. on a binge. We actually talked about it on your show months a long ago. Time ago I, yeah. I brought it up, because you know me. Uh -huh. I can do a loon call. Right. But, um, yes, the, and the trailer is fucking hilarious. <laughs> But That's what the I'm story about. is that this guy, well, this bear, basically consumed. I think it's over 150 kilos. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? Cocaine. And it went yeah, what the fuck? on a rampage. It went on a fucking rampage. <laughs> like what kind of rampage did it go? On? Wait, the it movie's went on gonna be the, the, the movie's gonna well, the be movie about a bear it was who's quite overdosed bloodthirsty, on But yeah, it killed multiple people. It wrecked shit <laughs> the fuck up. It it was on a fucking binge. I don't know if they <laughs> ended up dying <laughs> from this. Because I would expect all that to, to, to fucking give it a heart attack, but uh, yeah. this thing it consumes so ah. much. Well, it became a movie. Ah. Dude, can you imagine well, that? Like, honey, put the picnic basket over the. Dude, ah. dude. look. There's the, a bear what? on cocaine. Oh shit! <laughs> look, watch the watch the trailer. There's a trailer, trailer I can watch. watch? Wait, is it funny or is it like done really serious? Or like, what is both. it? Both. Oh my god! Yeah, there's a okay. So at one point, like, oh my like god. Don't, okay, so like the 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 bear's on its back and it's consuming a block of coke, and they're like, "Don't eat it! Don't eat it!" It consumes the whole thing. It rubs on its back uh, towards one of these guys, flips around, and then starts to kill them all. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Look at the cover. This is like people died and so this shit. This was um Ray Liotta's last role, by the way. What really? Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> Cocaine the bear. Like this this summer, your picnic isn't going to go as planned. Your house is his murdering ground. Your picnic is his buffet. Dude, I said, hey, watch, watch the video Cocaine now and bear. Just, just talk about it <laughs> Okay, let's as you watch it. It's not that long. Why don't you play it here in the chat <laughs> so we can watch it and watch along, but it, we'll just describe it for the audience. But yeah, I want you to fucking describe what you're watching because the shit that you're going to see, because, yeah, of course, the bear is going to be majority CGI and such. But the shit that you're going to see and the way that it fucking starts to take people out, it's like Jaws on land. It's great. From Universal Pictures. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah. <clears throat> Beth, we should go. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of dollars worth of cocaine fell from the sky this morning in Knoxville, Tennessee. There's more of this out there. They dumped it somewhere. I'm looking for my daughter. Forest is a dangerous place. Hey, check it out. Something got into it. A deer, maybe. A lot of cocaine was lost. I need you to go and get it. <laughs> I can't no, no, believe no, no, don't it. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Let's see what kind of effect that has on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The bear <laughs> fucking did cocaine. Uh, cocaine. What? There was a bear. A bear. <laughs> it was far. Hey. <laughs> dude, between this and that Santa Claus murdering movie or whatever the fuck, dude, I'm gonna jerk off. There was a bear. Deadly a night, bear. I think. It was far. Hey, that's inappropriate. <laughs> You're safe. Bears can't climb trees. Of course I can. Huh? <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god. 
It kind of seems like the thing that stays with a man forever. Apex Predator. <laughs> High on cocaine. <laughs> Thought of it's mine. Oh. <laughs> oh man, you fucked. What the fuck is wrong with that bear? Shut it, man! Bear Higher, baby! And don't ever come down! <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Cocaine bear. <laughs> it's great. Dude. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't fucking air on Hallmark and, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, be like uh, Sharknado or something. It's like a meme movie. <laughs> Oh, you know Yo, but the, it actually the, the has natural part. born killers vibes kind of the best part is this is actually based on a real story yeah. it's not like you know how they say oh based on a real story. no this is really based on a real story there was a bear that fucking consumed all this coke and it went on a fucking rampage <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna pass out the best. I can't wait Dude, that's right up. I laughed at the Violent Night movie, and I'm that, put that. These movies are starting to come out now. We're like, you know what? We're starting. Oh, to oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. The, the Grinch. Did you hear that the Grinch is now going to be a fucking horror movie? No. Yeah, just like they did with Winnie the Pooh. So they're doing that with Winnie the Pooh. Well, they and obviously the Winnie the Pooh uh, that, and then dude, the Grinch even, now the Grinch. There's another movie though. The animatronics uh, movie too, dude. They're starting to realize that. Dude, you realize what's happened, Dave? There's a Bambi, shit. Bambi, they're gonna do a Bambi movie, dude. A horror Bambi movie. Oh my god, bro! There's a new genre that's that's been coming for a couple of years now, and it's starting to really grow because they're realizing how fucked we are with movies and stuff. Like everything is like we've seen it all. It's so stupid. So what's what's becoming in? What Hollywood does was just recycle everything. You know what? I'll take a fucking Bambi horror movie yes. over the bullshit that fucking. And I'm not <laughs> even big on horror movie, but it's better than fucking what Hollywood's fucking recreating every time. Dude, so what's happening is like fucked up like horror and comedy and just over the top ridiculous stupid shit is 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 doing well. Because everything sucks so much in Hollywood that, like, that's, like, yeah, give me something fucking retarded. You know, give me fucking Peter Rabbit fucking rape somebody. And like, it still works better than what fucking Hollywood gives. Exactly, because at least it's something kind of different. That's the reason. It's different, it's original, and it's certainly not yeah. recycling things. Oh, my God, bro. Yo, but yeah, Bambi, this is great. Bambi, a fucking horror movie, Grinch, a horror movie, and it's hilarious. It's, it, the whole thing is the same sort of premise. It's like, you know, this happened in the past, and now in the future, uh, she goes back to Whoville, and she encounters the Grinch again. Or, you know, Bambi, 20 years later, realized that that kid didn't help save her mo uh, his mother, so now he's going on a rampage. So now we're going to see fucking all these, like horror movies that are based on childhood you know sort of stories all right here we go let's play this so dude violent night the santa one i mean dude like we this is a genre that is all of a sudden picked up amazing steam it can't like seriously yeah but you know what uh i haven't seen this uh well, obviously i haven't seen the movie but you know bad santa remember that yeah bad, bad santa, santa yeah that was actually a very good movie. I don't know if. Well, I, know, yeah, no, I think that's a little bit of a different thing, but that no, no, was it's certainly different. This is more fantastical, I guess, yes. because you've got, you know, no, a bad, situation that's certainly over the top. Bad this is Santa no, was more along the forty-year-old version type of comedy. I think that was out at that time. I want to say. Yes, but yeah, this is certainly a lot different. Please go ahead. Let's see if we can get away with playing this. Remember that story about Cindy? You know who. When her Christmas was stolen, she knew what to do. Why, Santa Claus? Why? But what if I said that's not how it went down? <laughs> what the fuck? Monster! You gonna be okay? Because we can turn around right now. No. My poor girl. Her mother was killed. Reminds me. Did you ever find the Christmas killer? Never got a reliable description of the man. It's like all the movies that Red Letter Media would watch. You're going to show the Santa one. This is the Grinch movie. Yes. Well, because we've seen the Santa one, but I'd never seen this one. I, no, I got confused, I guess. Oh, but you, I, well, I, I love, you said you were going to show that. Well, I love okay, the Violent so yeah. Night trailer. So this but... is the Grinch movie that I was just discussing. And yes, this trailer is fucking 
Kind of freaky. That? This looks so low budget. I love it. Dad! Oh. Does that? Oh my it's God, bro! There. What if the Christmas killer is back? This town cannot go through another Christmas killer thing. Not again. Us folks down in Newville. And the the, the acting seems terrible. <laughs> Are you realizing this? Like, th like I gotta be honest. Like the last yeah, one. Yeah, you know what? Sharknado has like five sequels. Um, yep. Point mooted. Oh, dude, mm -hmm. listen. These are the best movies to grab a bunch of friends, and to like have a b have a bunch of beer and fucking just watch these laughing like that. These yes. are the best. Yes, absolutely. Or sit on Discord uh, and watch because the this yeah this is gonna be funny to watch with people like that. So. Like Christmas a lot. But that thing that lives just north of Newville <laughs> does not. What is it? The mean one. He's slippery. He's elusive. He's a mean one, that mister. <laughs> I'm not going to be a victim anymore. Time to roast this beast. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You're a dead one, mister. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, the Winnie the Pooh thing comes up at the top left. Then Violent Night comes up. See, they we were just talking about them. They're popping up as recommended. Well, you know, uh, is that Christmas the, Bloody the Christmas? The NSA is always listening. So. Oh is that my Christmas god. Bloody Christmas, by the way? No, you're wrong. Mm. Damn, I want to see that one. You know what you what should do? Robot? You should take your gar guts and fuck yourself with them. I'm sorry. Uh. I've done it before. Oh, How are you like doing, brother? Okay, so you feeling good tonight? Fucking long ass work day. That's what yeah, I mean. bro. And nobody cares. Me too, but I, I still, and now I'm still doing it. We're here. My day don't fucking end. I exactly. Said, he just wanted to come in and take your clouds, senor. Oh. <laughs> clouds? I'm going to take your a piece. Clouds. I'm going to take your clouds. Fuck here. Santa Claus. Because clouds. Mexico lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did Mexico yeah, lose? I have no idea. I don't pay attention to that shit. You do. Please, come on. I do. I got a hot badillo in my fucking hand. Oh, yeah. Good IPA. Okay, thank you. Nobody okay. can. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nobody gives a fuck. All right. Well, good evening. And uh, I did see that fucking uh, trailer for... Indiana Jones, oh, Jesus Christ! I don't know where to begin with Sixty that. minute late to the conversation, but well, uh, what what do you have to add? Did you did you? Wouldn't well, I mean I couldn't fucking add a slap to your face, but I mean we'll see. Sure what you couldn't. Later. Sure you couldn't. <laughs> oh, you quit, but I'm quicker. Well, make your point. I got a point. No, you already shot down when, that point. There's, gonna, no, there's no more. There's no more the fucking video. Uh, no, I could talk more of the Gar Gardens of the Galaxy one because that one was kind of had piqued my interest more than the Indiana Jones one. Third movie or the Hollywood? Um, the third. Yeah, movie. What am I saying? Hollywood. The Christmas or sorry, holiday special. I think they're calling it the holiday special. Yeah, I saw that too. I didn't really buy into I, it. I did not. Well, I well I watched ten minutes in as like mm, nah. Mm. It was weird, right? Yeah, but, but I guess it. There to have some backstory on when they purchase nowhere and all that shit, but it looks pretty good. I don't know, but um, the third movie looks interesting, but Marvel's kind of going to shit now, in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah everybody yeah. everybody's getting on the back burner. Nobody wants to be a superhero anymore, and they're like, "Hey, we did like 10, 12 years of this shit. We're good." And now they want to make things well, and that doesn't seem to work. So uh, that's true too, but. I mean, everything's woke now. It sucks. We make our own Hollywood. That's what basically, uh, Terry, uh, what's his name? The guy that does all the fucking Medea shit. He he made that whole um, that whole studio in in Atlanta, and didn't want anything to do with with Hollywood, pretty much. And that's how Marvel well, <laughs> Marvel infiltrated that, and now they're all woke and shit. So fuck that. Not sure about that. Yeah, that whole studio lot, man. It's like when you, it's like Kanye West trying to buy his own bank so he could become the president. It's crazy. 
get out of fucking IRS debt. Oh, by the way, good fucking call on that fucking Cobra Kanye. Uh, damn it. Well, um, I would um, pledge my allegiance to him if he decided to um, found some sort of, you know, army. Because, yeah. uh, I mean, first of all, he he dresses the part and, you know, you got to respect that. And um, I do like a, vil- a villainous individual. Just imagine even if they're, you know, misdirected. But, hey, I, uh, I support Kanye. He, I, like I said, he is my spirit animal. His bullet hole, his bullet vest is going to have bullets already in it. They've already blocked everything else. Yeah, he'll be really fashion. Fashionista with that the shit. fashionable Cobra Kanye. Yeah. Dexter, where are my shoes? You idiot. Looks really like uh, Joe's probably going to, you know, gone to take a pee-pee or a poo-poo. So it uh, remains us on the uh, on the stream here, and uh, we do have Getty Lee, Owl Nose, and uh, Get to well, the lead. me and Getty and me and Gargut. So I don't know if Getty wants to say anything. Getty, He's where are you, Getty? Getty, a smoke break. Usually takes a smoke break around this time. Oh my god! So we're holding up the show, yeah, grand. So, um, oh, um, I was going to talk about this with Joe, but uh, maybe you saw the uh, trailers. There is a new Transformers movie that's coming out. I think it's called Rise of the Beasts, if I remember correctly. Um, This is obviously taking, if you're aware of this, the Beast Wars aspect. Mm -hmm. Interesting, um, because you have a character which is Optimus Primal, uh, and the story in the Transformers universe is that these characters went through time and then appeared on Earth prior to the Autobots landing there. But, um, well, if you were a fan of that series and you do look at the trailer, good trailer, by the way, huge, um, it uh, is very similar to, like, the characters featured are very similar to those that were featured on the show, um, mm. obviously looking a lot more, um, you know, 21st century and so forth but um, you know looking good and I was, uh, yeah it looks like it uh, might be a good movie I was surprised on how good the, they looked for being like metal animals I don't, I don't know I don't know why that that the way he came out just busted through the scene right when you see him I'm like yeah dude this is this is gonna be great and then you see of course you see Cheetor in the background running like, yes, finally, and, um, also they feature Optimus Prime as, and I don't know where this is in the timeline, but Optimus Prime should always have been the uh, the truck that is featured in this movie as well as the one that was featured in um, uh, uh, Bumblebee, which is his traditional look. Yeah, yeah, he looked different this time. I was wondering what the fuck no, but he, but the, but he's looked like this before in one other movie, which was Bumblebee, which was, mm. I guess, based in the eighties. So you had much more mm. uh, reference to what they should have looked like when this series launched, which was you know eighties style vehicles. So this is what you're seeing in the um, in the trailer for this movie. So yeah. it. You know, it's it. I don't know where it's placed in the timeline, but you'd start to see other characters like RC, which was featured in the uh, at least initially in the Transformers movie. So, and this is a female, you know, Transformer, although I believe they've showed those in the past. But um, again, it's taking a lot of what was working previously in my opinion they just took things that they wanted and they just mixed them up themselves galvatron for example was the dumbest thing ever where they made a clone of uh, megatron in the uh, transformers uh, cinematic universe because yeah. we all know that galvatron was created by unicron unicron was also not earth that's what was revealed i think in the third or fourth movie is that unicron is actually earth and it was just the dumbest fucking idea ever. Everyone knows that Unicron just crosses the universe consuming planets. 
it's it's unfortunate that they that you know uh what's his name uh What's the stupid director, Bay, uh, Michael Bay? Michael Bay. Yeah, the, he <clears throat> wanted to make it his own and stuff and just ignore all this shit. And then they realize, oh, we kind of fucked up. So let's kind of cover it up, but still not really, you know, do this properly. It's an insult to a geek like myself. Mm. So you used to watch like the 96, what, 96, 97 run as well? Uh, the, I mean, I grew up on the original Transformers uh, series, uh, which I believe started in '84. Yeah, the '81. But, um, but yeah, the, did you? Ever I watch do that? remember. You know, again, I watched Beast. Uh, well, it was Beast Machines, at least initially, and then Beast Wars afterwards. Beast Wars. But um, I remember watching that. That was actually created by, like, the series was actually uh, operated by a Canadian animation firm so yep. um you know i remember watching that because you know canadian uh, channels had exclusive rights to that blah blah blah. and um i remember following it and uh watching it but i wasn't really the biggest fan of it because in my opinion it was ignoring a lot of uh old uh history and stuff oh, old lore and stuff yeah i know that in that in the fucking after a while those that cj was just horrendous dude it was terrible better though it actually i think it was third season or something where they must have either upgraded or they got a new animation company but the graphics improved dramatically and uh that really you know did a good job and that's where they actually involved where they uh, realized they're on earth in the past and they mm. encountered uh the ark with Megatron and, um, sorry, with Optimus Prime on there, and Megatron decided to uh, mess with the timeline and stuff. So there was, there was some cool stuff at that point. But, again, I think I might be boring people in the audience. I don't know if people are aware of this sort of thing, if they're as geeky as me. Man, I, you should just go to... Like, uh, okay, so I was wrong. I, was, I got an incorrect. Dragon Man 585 corrects me. He says, Beast Wars, then... Beast Machines. Thank you for the correction. Uh, I'm drinking beer tonight, Suburban Cowboy. Some cheap beer. Yeah. Oh, shit. I got me a fucking IPA, and then I got me a State Reserve. Hey, you, 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 you drink fucking um, reused... Shit, um, no, you, you drink reused fucking um, church uh, wine, church whatever it is. Water? No, the, the the stuff for the fucking drinks and shit where the, you know you yeah you, know, you drink what is it called yeah, you just you, you mean a spit bucket something like that I don't know I'm kind of drunk and stuff yeah, you just gotta fucking distill that shit real quick Joe, Joe must be really pushing on a log there because he can't make it back here he's uh, <sighs> he's stuck in the bathroom he's like listen he's like what are these guys talking about Ugh, I can't get away I gotta get this fucking piece of shit out of me oh my god i should have had some more uh you know salad fiber i've had that extra cheese no Not cheese will cheese. Const uh, constrict you more you need uh, more salad uh preferably you know leafy greens oh, you know, lettuce uh, spinach Less fiber more. bok choy bok choy <laughs> you want some bok choy Okay. I love bok choy with some bok chicken. Choy. Have you seen it? In a walk. Uh, in a walk. Uh, you don't know how to cook uh, in a walk. Oh, you're my chili chicken. No. No, you, you're not even Hispanic. You don't even know how to cook taco. Oh, shit. It's true. It's true. Man, well, I'm like Bruce well. Lee, but really good with the food. What about Bruce Lee? Did you hear about oh, Angley? Listen to that. Ooh. We got the Joel Cronin. He coming back. Mm -mm. But he too late. He got small dick like all Asian. Let me guess. He fell down the stairs again and knocked out. Oh, it's unfortunate he did not. <laughs> did then we could have show on our own. Did you have, did you have the Ang Lee shit uh, Ang coming Lee. out with that? Going to write a new Bruce Lee biopic? And he's going to star his son as Bruce Lee. Like, okay. Well, if, his, well, if his kid can do the job, I don't really give a fuck who it is. 
do the job right. I want to see Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. um, also, a lot of Asians got real hampered up when hey. it was came to, um, uh, what was it, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? What, what the fuck did I just thought of something, Dave. I just thought of something. You know what else the Kanye what West thing? What you say, Joe? What you say to me? I say this to you, you dog killer. Um, what I, I love dog. It, they're delicious. You'd love to taste it. Um, uh, sorry, delicious. I can't say L. Oh, it's delicious. Don't you think the Kanye West thing reminds you a little bit too of uh, remember when Charlie Sheen was kind of going off and he thought he was like crazy? He was like, "I got tiger blood, man! I'm fucking crazy." Didn't it Winning. Kinda... Yeah, it really uh, it's a little Joe, reminiscent. A cat on your wall. Yes. Um, Leah's cat is down here giving. She's trying to say hi to Sith Negan for the donation. She's like, "Oh, let me check that out." Yeah, but I have to agree with you. Very, very manic, similar to that sort of manic episode Charlie Sheen had, which was, I would say, more fun really? and graceful. I, I don't know if it was the anti-HIV drugs, which we then realized right. uh, quite some time later. But, uh, yeah, um, he certainly is uh, showing very similar signs. Yeah, so there's a case to be made then that, you know, Kanye West or Yee might be trying to battle AIDS, and that's why this is happening. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's a correlation there, maybe. If he gets AIDS in the next week, we know it was the government. We we do know that Milo Yiannopoulos is uh, sort of controlling him, so it could be from that. Imagine he's Milo. Like he's got, like, a helmet on somewhere, like, grabbing his brain and mentally, like, controlling. My, Milo yeah. Yiannopoulos uh, came out a while ago saying that he witnessed uh, pedophilic acts at uh, certain Hollywood parties Ooh. and ever since people have been saying well name the people name the people and he won't do so so it's my uh it's, it was me <laughs> like, it was, uh, I did it like Milo's trying to tell on himself Milo. Well, well listen ma'am I really I uh gimp. <laughs> I really do gotta wrap it up because I went I was supposed to be off the air by 11 if you can believe that um, and then I th figured, That's you know super. what, I'll go to 1130. And then I thought, no, I'll go to 12. I'll go to 12. And then we're now, it's now 1 a.m. And I have to be up in about five hours. So, uh, which is going to get more sleep than I did last night. But yes, uh, yes. Yeah, it was a good show tonight, I think. It's going to be rough. But no, this was very solid. I had a blast night. If you guys missed any of this, go back and watch it. I think from beginning to end, uh, you will enjoy the show tonight. If you Street play value, huge. Yep. Four hours long, too. Four hours of solid. And, uh, and tomorrow, so, oh, tomorrow, we go nuts. And tomorrow, part two. We're monetized this Saturday night. Thank you to uh, Sith Negan, man. He dropped a bomb. And and also to uh, the other people who donated, man. Uh, we got Allison Tuckwab, Jersey City Boys. From the coast. Drew Bar and the Ghost. dollar bomb. The Ghost from the Coast dropped almost 200 bucks. Uh, Chief Wahoo. Gerald Armstrong, Louis Sardinetta. Uh, thank yes. you guys. And and listen, uh, Garguts is uh, shows up in the last minute because he was working all day as a whore. He's just um, feeling your oh, yeah. so, uh, so I made two bucks. Figure. Yeah. Continue up. Continue up, baby. Continue on throughout the night until we monetize this tomorrow. And Dave, thank you for being here. And I called you earlier and uh, we had a little fun interaction, which I will play again. Um is it this one? Is it this one? And uh, it may not lady. look like a fucking inflated whore. Well, that's not it, but that's funny, too. And uh, that's it, man. Tomorrow night, monetize this. Be here Saturday night for that. It's the, it's finally back to monetize this. Last week it was WWE. Week before that was AW. Now Saturday night, monetize this. It's back tomorrow night. Play. There you go. You got a little taste of it tonight. Dare I say it's a part one and two almost. I like. got so many more stories for tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> you hit me with them. Maybe I'll whip out if the wine. you think wine. a cocaine bear is fucking crazy, just wait oh, till tomorrow. Dude, oh, dude that shit is... Bad. I'm going to go watch that trailer again as I go to bed. <laughs> All right, good night, boys. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Check out the devious Dave Rose. Appreciate it, devious Dave Rose. What a fun time I had tonight. Let me tell you something. That was a blast for me. I hope it was a blast for you. Enjoy. And ladies and gentlemen... Um, let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Hold on. Um, where's the clip from earlier? 
My shit's not opening right now because my computer's crashing. My computer's breaking, so it's just crashing. I mean, dude, it's just loading. If I showed you, like, look what it's doing right now. See this? Working. I just, all I did was search the PC for a, for a file, and it doesn't ever find it. It just searches and f pauses. My computer's fucked. Um, I tried to find it, though. I don't know why my computer does this, but it's fucked. But since I can't find the clip I'm looking for, let's go out with the man who dropped the bomb. That's right. Sith freaking Negan. And tomorrow night, it's Monetize This. So be here for Monetize This tomorrow night. Thank you to Sith for funding the shit out of this show. He is the dictator. He is the enemy designed. He is Sith Negan. It's a Sith bomb. Hey, man, thank you so much, Sith. Especially with everything you got going on, Sith, that you do that you did that, man. Thank you. You guys don't know. I, I'm, I am shocked he was able to do that. That's amazing. Very nice of Sith to do that and keep my shows going here. Thank you.
Here it comes. It's a Sith bomb. Play the music the people want to hear. Thank you guys for being here tonight. I can't fucking believe it. Look at Kanye, man. He looks like the best supervillain you ever seen. He is the blackest Nazi. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck you call him, bro. I don't know. Good night. Good night. Seriously, guys, hit that like button on your way out, and I'll see you for monetize this tomorrow night. See you guys. Thank you so much for the support tonight. Big time. Catch you tomorrow. I'm really leaving this time. I'm really leaving. Shout out to the woke. Yeah, it's all a joke. They try to how you live your life, cause they rich and you just broke. Ruling class, making you lick their ass. It happens fast, they crack if they think we're gonna follow the path. They entertain us, see how they're good at that. But the political opinions give me ass and ass. How much longer can this shit last? I put them on blast, cause it's a fact that they all crazy on crack. And here it come, about to spit this fast I'm sick of you all, you fucking woke ass trash So pass me the whip, I'm ready to rip I'm ready to spit, I'm ready to shit On you bitches who bitch, so hand me a switch I'm sick of the rich, I shoot from the hip So get ready to dip, yo you censoring wide Do you do it for pride, or maybe you just got Something fucking evil to hide Welcome to Hollywood This is gonna be a joke Living broke, yeah, they living in Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. This is gonna be a joke. No, we all living broke, yeah, they living in Hollywood. Office. Let's pull back the lens, I'm on offense Because I got a sense, you take offense To my off joke, you don't think makes sense Because you can't disarm my arsenal I'm going hostile How much you think this dictatorship shit gonna cost you? I'ma make this universe just lost you I'ma hit you with the fucking million dollar ass lawsuit I'ma straight up accost you Orwell was right, so I'm up for the fight Fight for what's right, I'll fight blind in the night, cause I know that I'm right. Yo, yo, my grandfather fought Nazis in World War II, but now you call me a Nazi, well, well the Nazi is you. You're touching kids on Epstein Island and zoos, everything you mad at others for, you know you do. No one's sicker than you, so here's what I'll do I'll sneak into your dinner time and poison your food. You're infiltrating our schools with weird ass rules, trying to make our fucking kids turn into drooling fools. Welcome to Hollywood, this is gonna be a joke. While we all live and broke, yeah, they're living in Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood, this is gonna be a joke. While we all live and broke, yeah, they're living in Hollywood. Hollywood.
fucking wife home to a show With Joe Crown and Show So give me a way to get out of here Cause I constantly pray I'll get out of here Please won't somebody say I'll get out of here Someone give me my shot or I'll rot here Show me how and I will I'll get out of here I'll start climbing uphill and get out of here Someone tell me I could just get out of here Someone tell me what that I'm stuck here Downtown when his lies don't stop, you go downtown When his ratings drop, you go downtown Where his fake friends popping on Joe I'm not talking about him Yo, he says that I am If I won't respond to his dumb lies The shit he can't stand Why would I do three hours Like he does to me Kinda shit is pathetic That's why I'm living rent free Cause I'm living rent free And you fucking head if I was a nightmare You fucking wood and a dead woods are like swords Straight into your head The better that they are The more that they be red Living rent free inside of your head. If I was a nightmare, you fucking wouldn't have dead. It was a light source straight into your head. The fatter that they are, the more that they be red. You better fake dead before you say something dumb. And I ain't playing around. And yo, your wife is a cunt. Yeah, you brought mine up first. Eye for an eye, and yours is fatter since birth. And she got fatty thighs. It's been over a year You would think he'd move on But he's hot from my nuts Dreams are sucking my schlong He will not give up Says I'm a bad dad But I take care of three kids Yo, he's projecting and sad His family life must be tough If he's projecting so much Time to finally speak up Against this fat faggot fuck Oh, because I'm living rent free Inside your head, if I was a nightmare, you fucking wouldn't have dead. Was I like swords straight into your head? The fatter that they are, the more that they bleed red. You better fake dead before you say something dumb. And I ain't playing around. And yo, your wife is a cunt. Never ends. Spend your whole life desperate for love. You'll build any narrative to be completely beloved for what you have. You thank God, but you ain't godly at all. You stab a friend in the back if it puts you up on the top.
to my man Joe Tone and keep it rocking, keep it rolling. Yes. And to every hater that ever ran his mouth, what? you can take our middle finger, take it and jam it down south. Oh, this whole fucking community, they know what we about. They know. So when we talking, homie, take a seat and please shut your mouth. GCS, homie, done told you. We the best. And for every piece of shit that tried to test, got laid the rest. Right. What you thought? The man Joe Tone and go hard. Yeah. Trust me, homie, we ain't worried about none of you retards. No. All these fat fucks wanna talk, they'll get cut. I ain't playing with your homies. Fuck you, faggots, and your wives are all slut.